<laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Woo! Forgot the lights. You can't see my face with the light. Ah. Uh, because it's my face is what matters, yeah. Yeah, my ugly goddamn mo I can go get it later, it's okay. Alright. Well then. That's enough of that now, is it? That's enough, uh, that's enough loogie. Oh, right, yeah, this has no music. Um. Um. I didn't realize what would happen. Oh, right. Um. Shit, well, I guess we could just go into the game and just have the music there. Start it up. There's gotta be some music in here. The last time we saved was after we read the book and then we started the next chapter. Oh, wait. There we go. That was the wrong thing. All right, perfect. That's right. Yeah, we did the bird of happiness is what we chose. Because cause I believe it's the bird, the mermaid, and then I think it's a dog or something else. I don't remember. Again, no, we already saw this. But I can't skip it. Oh! Well, I guess while this rocks, um, we, we got new stuff, fellas, and lasses. Check it. Check out that new emote right there. You, it, it's kind of hard to see one of them, but you get the general idea from the name. It's Phil from Kingdom Hearts 2, specifically the scene in Kingdom Hearts 2 where he's looking up at the stars and, and he does the pog face. He's like, oh. When he, like, sees Sora, uh, uh, the constellation of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. And then we also have the the frame from uh, Recoded. Where, like, Phil is just looking at all the blocks that Sora destroyed. And he's like, what the fuck just happened, dude? What is this? I don't like Frank. No, I can't believe this. No, but yeah, but, but we have those now. Phil Pog and Phil disgusted with himself. I I haven't figured out the name for for the disgust one, but but I but uh the other one's called Phil Pog or, or no the other one's called Fog, with a P H, which I thought was a very funny and creative name. I don't know. I'm not very uh, I'm not very inventive most of the time. I say no. We need that. Uh, we don't need Peter's dropping them. And then, uh, nah, nah. I think we need the. No, we need the bird. We need the bird. We need. The bird. It was Sir Peter that we didn't need. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. I am 100% wrong. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, let me equip my pipe. And then let me have the biscuit tin in the find because I have no healing right now. So if we get into a fight and I take a lot of damage, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need all the healing I can get, to be honest. Because I'm not very good at this game from uh, from what we saw from that boss fight. I have, I kind of made a few mistakes. But that's okay. Also, I want to try and get the... Uh, the the like the super knife or whatever i don't know if i can get it in the first playthrough but i should be able to she doesn't seem skittish at all better push you a bit harder evil disgustings later 
Let's go to our secret meeting spot. Because <laughs> why not? And there's a feather. Come on, Brown. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Brown can't find me. Oh. I'm stupid. All right, Red Feather. We got a red feather. Come here, Brown. Brown! Alright, so I believe where we have to go is down to where the Clover Room is. Because I actually don't remember why. Oh, I think that's just where Brown led us last time, so... That's just where we gotta go. Like, naturally. Oh. Alright. Hopefully everything should be fine. I, uh, I, I, I went ahead and fixed a few things from the last session. So, hopefully it should be fine. Keyword is hopefully. God, please work. Alright, nope. Nope, I heard him whimper. That sucks. That is bad. That's very, very bad. No finding things? How dare you, Brown? Don't... I think it's the next room. Oh, shit. I really should have taken time uh, a after the Hoffman fight to just go look for items instead of just going right to the objective. Because now I'm screwed. I think the only items that might be available are within this immediate area. Nope. I'm gonna try every room, though. If I can find it. Come on, Brown. Also, apparently Brown doesn't attack for some reason when I tell him to. Although he might attack the shit kids, but he doesn't attack the adult. I don't know, I haven't tried... There we go. There are bird feathers on the floor. They're all red bird feathers. Wasn't the Peter a bird? I thought he was. Alright, come on, Brown. No! No! All right, I think we just got to follow the trail of feathers. We got to follow these feathers, boys. We got to make sure to find it. And then we'll have all the bird meat we want. Ooh. Oh, why are there no why are there no biscuits in here? What's the bloody meaning of this? Oh, it's this room. In the toilet. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna find a bird in the toilet. Be like, all right then. The women's bathroom. Hello, is there? I just want the door to open. It's just a bird with a newspaper. Hey, Occupado! Uh oh, it's birdie blood. That's Shh. disgusting. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, Brown. We're not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're talking. Oh, so this is the secret place. They just talk in the girl's bathroom. You know what? You know what? What? You know what? You, like her. you what? I'll never get along with her. No chance, not ever. Oh, She's fine. Screw you, though. Just terrible. How dare you? <laughs> I can't stand the sight of You're her. just terrible. She had it coming. Yes, she deserved it. Hmm. 
What? Why? No. You're oh, right. No. It's no. Her own fault. <laughs> Stupid Jennifer. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's all you came to discuss. <laughs> it's just the fact that you just don't like Jennifer. Got it. All right. Well, now since we can't find any biscuits, I don't know. Let's use the feather. Feather to find the feather target. Oh, well, I guess that's just the target. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's remove that for now. All right. Actually, yeah, let's see where we take this next. Oh, hi, girls. Uh, Diana and... Oh, my God, what's her name? No, that's not Wendy. That's, uh... No, it's not weird, like, Gerald B. It's like, uh... I don't know, it's Mary or something. Bad girl. Why is the princess dead? I know what you're doing. You're looking for the bird of happiness, aren't you? It's in a room nearby, but I don't remember the room number. The bird will die if we don't hurry. It will make Eleanor cry. Oh yeah, Eleanor is the bird girl. Ah. It's going to go insane. With the bird dying. Yeah. That makes sense. Go wager whether she'll cry or get angry. It's a bet. We're betting on the life of a bird. On a bird, for God's sake. Right. Is it here? Because we never went in here, because the store was locked the last time we came over here. So maybe it is there. I, I just don't know. Hey, it's Zack with the Phil Pog. He's using the new boys. He's using the new one. Oh, wait. Hang on. This just leads to the other thing. Oh, interesting. Will this lead to the bird? No. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, wait. Hang on. Is this... Is this what I think it is? Unless I'm not supposed to go that way. Oh, wait, yeah. It is. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's actually use it and see where he takes us. And if he starts taking us toward the bathroom again, then I'm going to say screw that boy. Go away. If he just starts following the path, then no. Because there is more than one set of red feathers. I mean, it is a bird unless they, like, strip the bird of all its feathers and, like, that's what it did. Alright, if this just leads to the bathroom again, then I'm gonna be it. Alright, no. Alright, nope. Sorry, Brown. Come here. I see the heart. Taking it, I'm taking it! Relax! Relax! I see it! Relax. That's one. And that'd be number two. Can't you see I'm dealing with something important here, like trying to take care of my dog? I'm taking care of my boy. Come here, Brown. Come on, Brown. I guess we just gotta check every room then. Till we find a bird, probably. They said it was nearby. Alright, well there's a bird. Aha! Gotta be in one of these. I can hear a bird. 
I can hear it chirping. Though you probably can't hear it underneath all my stupid nonsense that I'm saying. I heard a bird. A land sketch. What is a land sketch? Land of the birds, population 834. Brooklyn accent? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, that, 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 that's me. Alright, so I believe this was the code. This is the land, so it was 834. Nah, I'm a, I'm a Tony Soprano. I'm a, not, 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 nah, I'm actually, uh, I, I, Secretly, my name is Chris Pratt, and, and I am the Mario movie man. L like, like, listen. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. See? It, 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 it's a me, Mario. <laughs> hey, what the hell is this? Birdie Town Mare's diet chart? Part of it's been torn off. Okay. Interesting. All right, what if we check the other room? Are you thick? See, I see. See, I am the real Chris Pratt. I, 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 I could do the funny Guardians of the Galaxy thing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, now I know that sounds bad. But just blasted, and then I started blasting. All right, all right, hang on. Let me look at his diet chart again. Oh, I can use it to find. I got it. Brown, go brown. Find the chart so I can figure out a bird's diet. Oh, hey, hey, Diana, what's up? Let's go see if you have anything interesting to say. Nothing? Okay, sure. Hang on, Brown. I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. Just relax. I'm going into the broom closet. Oh, the shower. I gotta clean off all this filth that I was in the filth room for. <laughs> I smell like a big Koopa Stinka. Cool, the rest of the diet chart. All right, let's see. Uh, this morning's weight, 124. I don't know how much kilograms are compared to, uh, I don't know, stupid American numbers, but yeah. Cool. What, so now do I have to go back to the thing and then input it again? That may, that may have to be the case. Brown. Come on. Boy. See, the land sketch doesn't find anything. Oh, let's see if there's anything in here that we could do to find. No. All right. Come on, Brown. Come on, buddy. No, it's the opposite way. Or wait, no. No, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. Yeah, because what if, like... Like, what if we do it again? Then this time, it opens up a different box. For a different outcome, with a different box inside of the box that was already open. <laughs> oh, village. Oh. Wow. Okay, so there are different boxes. Oh. Oh, the Kennedys, eh? Ah, you're bringing out the real stops here. Box title village. Um, well, that, well, that's not it, but we'll still do it anyway. Uh, 124. 3, 4. Oh. Oh. Oh, apparently that worked. Okay, sure. Alright, now what's this? A sketch. Cool, I'm bad at drawing, so let's see what it interprets. The Daddy is mummy. Mummy is blank. The rest has been torn off. Okay. 
<laughs> Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. What? <laughs> uh, I want to do another watch through a clone high sometime, man. Why is there happy music? Well, this isn't exactly happy. It's just... I I guess you would say more upbeat, but it's not really given that tone. This is just like classical sounding music, to be honest. I guess this is like... I guess this is like the interpretation of like it's supposed to be tense and you're on a search for something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's like 1930 uh, when this takes place. Like, 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 like. What do you want from me? But like, that's just kind of this whole vibe. Of the whole thing. So I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Daddy plus mummy plus daughter equals... Question mark. Ah, great. I gotta do math? Ah, crap. I wanna do math. Alright, come on, Brown. Gotta do some math. Fine. Alright, but like, what does this mean? And apparently the and apparently the dad was like a was like a bird or something. Oh, right. Because it combined together it's an entirely new sketch. So now I have to use that to track the other part of it down. So come on, Brown. Because like I've been noticing these birds on the wall, so maybe that has to play into it, but the birds are not exactly near a numerical value. Oh, hey, it's you. Let go, the red bird. Well, the red bird's over here, stupid. Oh, oh wait, no, that's an orange bird. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what this whole bird puzzle is supposed to mean. I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb and I don't understand puzzles. But it's also just a possibility that this puzzle is also... Uh-oh, there's a bird whistle. Item! A scone! I found some scone! That's not good! That means that I'm gonna fight something soon. Hello, what are you doing? Why won't the birds fly to me? Why does it have to be you? Stay away! I said stay away! All right, Brown, if you say it's up here, it's up here, I guess. I, I, I would just love, like, a mod of this game, but it's just... And it's not like little kids. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's birds! There's nothing down this way, Brown! Oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's see. Daddy plus mummy plus daughter equals question mark. Okay, so daddy's orange. Mummy is green. Daughter is a yellow duckling. What? I don't... I don't get this. Oh boy, we got some bloody scones! Brown, attack! Kill! Night! Night! No, I command you to kill! Brown! I just attack! For God's sake, it's not that hard.
God, at least Huey attacked for me. Ah, shit. No, am I gonna die to birds? Oh, God, no. No, I don't want to die to birds. Or woodpeckers. I don't even have you on anything to find. So you should be attacking. Hang on, I should look up how to make brown attack. Let's see. Roll of rose. Brown. Attack. Brown cannot attack enemies. God dang it! And why even have him? He's just a search finder! Alright, well in that case, find some scones. I need to eat one. Ah! Find ah! What a waste! I told you to find some scones! Oh. Right, come on, Brown. Actually, hang on. Maybe we don't need to go up there after all. Let's see. The family sketch. I don't know. Let's look at it. Oh, maybe we have to find out what those numbers mean. Do we have to find out what those numbers mean? Crap. Alright, well in that case, let's go back down here. Come on, Brown. Come on, buddy. Because perhaps maybe the riddle is over here instead. If not, I'm just going to have to cheat. Looks like the dad left. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, shit! Aha! It is here! Okay. Alright, let's see. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna have to look this up. Alright, or we'll actually calculate. Alright, let's see. Alright, it's plus everything. Alright, so the mom is number 45. Plus whatever the dad and whatever the little child is. I figured it out. The dad, I believe, was over. No. No, it was over here. No. Are they all, like, tied to a specific get? He left to get milk, sad. Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> every, every time I, like, hear the, like, dad went to go get milk jokes, like, all I can think about are those, like, videos that mock game theory. And, and, it, and it's like, uh, and it's like a Matt Pat text-to-speech thing. And, it, and it's just going, like, well, there there is a timeline where you don't get bitches, and that's the timeline. Where your dad never came back with the milk. Where'd it go? The red bird. Oh, I guess this daughter, I guess. Plus 12. Plus whatever the other one was. Like, back to what I was saying about those fucking game theory videos, it, 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 like, always, like, says something about, like, uh, uh, yeah, you don't get bitches because your dad never came back with the milk. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Alright, plus 55, so that's 112. 
All right, so we just have to go back over here, I believe it is, and then input the code. So it'll be 112, and then we get the final thing. So I think we did it. And I almost died for nothing. Aw, oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 stop. That was a terrible mistake. No, I was at the wrong thing, wasn't I? Crap. Dead? No. No, I'm not dead yet. Well, a actually, that would be very bad if I died. Because then that means I have to, like, restart from, uh... From, like, the beginning of the chapter. Oh my god, these scones do nothing. They are absolutely useless. These things suck. Brown, find me some biscuits, please. Before I die. Damn it. Save? There's not a save point near me. That's the problem. No, wait. There is. Hang on. I know where to find a save point. It's just very far away. But I know where to find one. Or at least it's far away while we're limping. Alright, nope. All right, no, that's not a way to go. I'm limping all the way to the exit. Limping all the way back home. Oh, no, no, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm limping. All right, the guest room hall. All right, so I just have to go through the sec- or no, the three leaf clover. That door. And that takes me to the cafeteria, which has a save point in it. Oh, fuck. The doors are mixed up now. Oh, no, it was the two leaf clover. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Yay. Why are the doors not where they originally were? Or wait, no. Wait, no. Hang on, now I'm forgetting the layout. Shit. Yeah, but there should be a save point in here as well as a thing. Uh, to deposit our items. If it changed, that sucks. Come on. Come on, Jennifer. Yeah, bucket night. Let's go. Yeah, but let's stock away our stuff first. I don't think we even have any more healing items. Yeah, nah, because it'd be in food. take out all this stuff because then we can find it find all the other stuff and then trade it in for some more items to heal also healing is really bad in this game like there's not a good item because they're all like little treats you get some biscuits you get a you get a scone uh let's see you get some shortbread and i think the best healing item is a lollipop but that's it. Sucks, dude. Alright, now let's go back and find the right door. Oh, 
fuck are those enemies? Oh god damn it, those are enemies back there. Which means that I had to go through there at some point. That's through the three leaf clover door. Right, yeah, yeah. Because so that's the way around. From the butterfly thing. So literally, I'm at the point where, like, one hit will kill me, no matter what. So I have to be super careful. I think it's this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's this room. It's this room. I was at the wrong end of it, I believe. Uh Everything's fine? No, it's not. It is not fine. Trust me. One... Twelve. Whoop. And what do I get? From... Oh, God! Another sketch puzzle! News article! Oh, wait. Hang on. This is actually something useful. Famous couple to divorce. The Daily Flamingo. Husband borrows 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. Alright, so that's 305. Couple. I don't know, 305? Because he borrows 60 out of a 3065, or out of a 365, so that has to be the puzzle. No? Oh, fuck. There's more to it. How was that news? Well, the headline said that they were going to divorce. So, so obviously, like, in this time... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dude. The 30s are weird. Go, Brown. Go I'll go find the thing while I just take my sweet time. God, this is the worst limp that's ever existed, man. Oh, God. And I've played every Resident Evil game ever. Oh, God damn it. I have to go through that other door, don't I? Oh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Crap. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah, because this room is completely empty. From what I remember. Unless it's going to be like randomly just spawn an enemy because the game hates everything that I that I enjoy. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a person. Ah. Okay, all right. Bars another 30. All right. Well. All right. 365 minus 60 minus 30. That's another two. All right, so now it's a two seventy-five. Did I collect the other news article? Oh shit! That was Martha. Oh. Oh my god! He can find a marble. Marble pog. Let's go. Crap, it's that way. Okay, all right, we'll forget that noise. It's 
So let's see. So let's just go try out 275. Unless finding the news article. No, it shouldn't. Right? Yeah, because the find target was marked. So that means that, um, uh. That, yeah, that should be the end of the puzzle. God, I hate math. Yeah, 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 okay. You're just gonna lead us back out there. It's like, alright, yeah. Alright, now the solution is 275. Oh my god, just look at Brown stuttering. I love that. <laughs> oh my goodness, buddy. Hey. Brown. Brown, I know you're my boy, but still. Oh, that's just too funny. Okay, Brown. We got it. All right, 275 is our final answer. If it still says no, I'm going to... Oh, thank God. I swear to God, if it's another puzzle, I'm going to flip my shit alone. Great. It's a metaphor. Because in the end, I'm all alone. And then that's going to be the dead bird inside. Watch. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh no, he's gone now. Okay, cool. Oh hey, little girl. It wasn't me, honest. I didn't kill your bird. Not yet, at least. I'm going to smash him in your face, though. It'll be funny. Bye, Jennifer. This bird was dead long ago when I killed him. I love this, like, POV of the cage shot. It's pretty cool. Also, we're not in the airship anymore, apparently. Now we're in the orphanage. Because this doesn't look like a Zeppelin. That was a normal-ass window! And this is the attic from earlier. If you haven't pieced together what the hell's going on now... Well, this is your hint. I'm going to use the birdcage and knock the ever-loving shit out of Jennifer. I will use my status at the Aristocrat Club to do so. Also, just, like, look at how, like, sh poorly made that is. Like, remade. Like, you just see all the nails sticking out? That, that That's definitely not a hazard to kids at all, man. I'll tell you what. You're not allowed. Piss off. Like, okay. Okay, well, I did the objective, so... Yeah. <laughs> now we're back here again in the salon where we started. Now we're back on the airship. Oh, God, and I'm limping the fuck. Oh, what's this? A slip of paper is beneath the moral everlasting happiness. Oh, so that's part of the bird book, isn't it? Part of bird box. So now we get to read the thing fully. Once a girl found a box, bird happiness was inside. The bird would take her to Foreverland, so she hoped each box smaller than the last. Cramped dark space, she finally found her little bird. Far little, far too late. The bird was long dead, had a bloody face. The moral? Everlasting happiness is a joke. Fuck, that hits hard. 
That's rough. Unlucky girl, remember the promise you made to her dear friend. She wrote it on the chalkboard. Never forget it ever again. Alright, cool. So that should conclude the chapter, right? Everlasting. Gobstoppers. I don't know. I got... I'm working with what I can here, folks. You, you're, uh... <laughs> gonna have to... Gonna have to excuse the dryness. I would love to save. That means that chapter is done and I am fully healed. I can't wait to collect two whole scones and get completely rocked again. It's gonna be great. October. So now we're in the future. Again. Now we have to choose another book. Hey, Joshua. Morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? Yeah, I think I remember the fact that I killed a bird. I remember one of them. Remember the other two now. Still not good enough. You are such a silly girl. Never mind, it wasn't important. I, I, I've been getting all these messages and calls, people asking for an Angela, and I'm like, that's not even close to who I am. The Goat Sisters. There's a joke to be made there, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll do this one. Why not? Goat. Little sister wrote a letter. Ba ba. Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister's letters, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the to read the letter to? Ba ba. And then the back page is missing. Awesome! So who's gonna get murdered? Somebody's dying. Or at least, like, it's implied to be- or is implied to be very dead. This is great, guys. This is the nice, wholesome content that everyone comes for. Like, I- 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 I-, I, I I just don't know what to tell you. I, 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 I honestly don't. September 1930, the Goat Sisters. Oh, the thing that dies is the doll, I bet. Cool, so the fighting over a doll. What a bunch of bullshit. Hang on, where am I? Closed storybook, wise looking princess was in the room. This is not the filth room. That's said softly. Hmm. It's not here either. Someone else find it. It must be something very important. Why don't you go find it? I left all I gathered together in one place. Now you just have to find it. Ah shit, inventory full? Crap. Alright, yeah, stock and items. Uh, let's see, drop the feather. Uh, the bird. We need to keep the ghost sisters. The family sketch, I'll drop that and, uh, and then... I don't know, let's see if the map will, uh, will work without it in my inventory. And it does, perfect. And I have extra space that I could have used. A lollipop, that's great! That's a, that's like the best healing item in the game. Meg's pencil. The one piece is real. The one piece is real. A strange sack here. Something is rustling around inside of it. I don't like that. 
Uh, well, we just saved. So we don't really need to save right now. All right, let's equip the pipe. Can we get much higher? So much higher. I gotta use a pencil. Go on, Brown. Go and find a thing I can use with a pencil. There's an item. Another lollipop. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that it gave me two really good healing items. Actually, wait. I don't think they're the best. I think there's one above it, but I could be wrong. But I do need good healing, so I could use it. Hang on, Brown. Let's look around here for a second. All right. Now go. Now go, boy. Why are we here at the top? Ed? Shit, where are you? Where are you, boy? Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a picture. Aristocrat page. Surely not a sign of things to come. Oh, no, definitely not. Nope. Never in the history of video games has items being placed that do you good things ever mean that anything bad happens. Ah, eh, who am I kidding? Bad things always happen when they give you good stuff. Well, actually, nor normally, yes, because that means, or well, or well, that's what we call a boss fountain. Because it gives you healing items right before a boss, or like a chance to heal. In this case, it doesn't seem to be so. I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. Uh, and I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Communist America. I, I, I mean America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under the Judeo-Christian God, indivisible, with nobody having any rights. That, that, that... That's the Pledge of Allegiance, right? I, 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 it, it's been a few years since I've had to, like, actively say it every single day. I don't quite remember. Can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Come on, Brown. Search for the items for me. Come on, Brown. You're a good dog. Aha. Stray dog list. Following our notes on monster stray dog. Described to us by the beautiful princess of the rose. He's big, strong, scarred, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current task, stray dog investigation. First floor restroom. Gather notes from the rumor scribbled on the wall assigned to Susan. Oh. Oh, it means like, oh. Oh, it means the the scribbles on the wall are are assigned to Susan herself. Okay, wait, hang on, Brown. Hang on. Oh, so these things like lead to each other. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh God, what I God, what was I thinking about for a second? Because all I like see. Because all I hear is Stray Dog, and then I'm thinking, like, uh, oh, God, that's like a song, I think. Or, no, 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 I'm thinking of Elvis. That's, uh, it's Hound Dog. I don't but a hound dog. That, that, that's what I was thinking of. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Then again, I think about music way too much. And the only reason I think about music way too much is thank you, JoJo, for teaching me about music I never knew existed. Oh, no, we're in the meat closet. Oh, shit, are we going to fight Eddie from Silent Hill in here? Oh, shit, I forgot the knife from uh, from one of the enemies. Oh, he's from... Oh. Ice pick? I don't like that. I, I surely don't like the fact that there's an ice pick. Inventory full drop something. Awesome. Well, let's 
Okay, then. Well, let's use this to find some. Cool. I found a marble. I found another marble. Let's... There more marbles? There's another marble. Let's see, what else do we got? Uh oh, clothespins. I think I need like two clothespins. Stone. Yeah, might as well look around for stuff while we have no immediate danger. It uh might be good for us. Because then we can turn it into the box. And then we can get some healing items out of it. Good job, Brown. Oh, that vent just clipped out of existence. And then clipped back in. Alright, awesome. You love to see it. You absolutely, positively, absolutely love to see it. Oh, it's the kitchen. Oh, wait. Hang on. This wasn't here before. Wait, was it? I just never go through this door. Oh, nice. Clothespin. Another clothespin. Yeah. How many clothespins do I need again? How many of each item do I need? I think I still have that page or, or, or that tab still pulled up. Items. No, I don't. Clothes See, I need eight clothes pins. How many do I have? I have four. And then let's sock. I need six socks. Okay. Get a white chalk. I think that one. How many ribbons? Four ribbons. Oh, cool. Four ribbons. Play a three. Might as well find another. Crap, well, I don't have the item to find. Uh, I think it's like 12 marbles, I believe. Oh. You just find scones. Is chat disabled? Wait, what? what? What do you mean? Oh, it's work. Oh! Oh, was chat down for a second? Oh, shit. I didn't even realize. Or, well, like, kind of did, but I didn't understand what was going on. Because it was saying connecting to chat, but the stream was still up. So, I don't know what that was doing. Like, honest to God. Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right. I, uh... I, 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 I didn't know that was happening. Just for you, I guess. Maybe. Oh no, your guess is as good as mine, man. Uh. Hey, Brown. Brown, you okay there, buddy? Oh no, I broke Brown. Oh god, I broke him. Oh no, I broke Gary. I pushed him too hard. Ah, perfect. Oh, oh, hang on, that's a different item then. Oh, uh, well, I guess... It... Well, yeah, because if I drop items, uh, it'll just disappear eventually. Yeah, no, I don't need that no more. Oh, love letter. Oh, interesting. Handy! Ooh! I 
got candy. So you played Cyberpunk again because everyone said it was getting better. Spoilers, it didn't get any better. Alright. Alright. Like, I get it. A new show based off of a video game, like, it can kind of rejuvenate a little bit of life into it. But if a game's bad by default or people just don't like it by default, it's not going to change their mind just because they have characters from it. Like, like I don't know if that had the same effect when, uh, when Arcane came out for League. But I would imagine that a lot of people had, had like, the same idea and be like, hey, let's go play this game that's based off this series that I really like. And then they go in and they're just like, who are these characters and why are all these sweaty people playing? Where, like, you can't do anything without anyone to tell you to kill yourself. But then again, League's always been a mess, so, like, I understand that. But still. But still, it's, like, kind of weird when you think about it. And, like... And, like, I still didn't watch Arcane because I really just don't care right now. But, like, everyone's just talking about it and, like, how good it is. And I'm like, all right, cool, sure, if you want to watch it, do that. And, like, I think it's the same thing with the, with the Cyberpunk show or whatever. With the uh, uh, Edge Runners is what it's called. Drumstick? What the fuck? Drumstick? All right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on, bro. Hang on. Wait, shit. I shouldn't go in there. That may be a boss fight or or an enemy encounter. Now, but like a lot of people are like highly praising Edge Runners, and like I just like I've seen uh, like screenshots here and there, and like I've seen a couple like twelve second clips. Of it, and I'm just like, okay, well, I just don't care. I really just don't care, to be honest. Like, can it be good? Sure, sure. Like, 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 who knows? I may watch it, and it might be good. I just don't. I, I guess that's just with like any new show that like I see get popular, like. Like, Twitter has ruined my enjoyment of a lot of things, and, like, the things that I enjoy are just the things that I discover on my own, or already have interest in. And, like, I don't think it's gonna make me play Cyberpunk any more than, like, I already planned to. Because I remember buying it, because I think it was on sale. And then, and then I never touched it, because I just didn't have the time. And then everyone's like, oh, well, it's broken. And so I thought to myself, it's just like, uh, uh, oh my God, what was I going to say? Uh, I never use, uh, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I never played Cyberpunk because I waited for it to get fixed and it didn't really get fixed much from what I've heard kind of just been in a weird place where like it is fixed but it isn't but also is as well I, I don't know it's weird you watch one episode of edge runners and it seems good I mean fair and if it seems good then then I'm like that's totally up to you man like like, like if it seems good it seems good that's why you shouldn't use the app. Well, I mean... I, I'm like, where else am I gonna go? Facebook? I, I... I... I need a platform to, like... Alright. Alright, it's gonna sound weird and it's gonna sound very, very, like... Dickish, but, like, I need a platform for, like, my stuff. So, like... Where else would I go? Facebook, where all the boomers go and nobody fucking goes there anymore? Instagram? I'm not hip enough for Instagram. I can't do that shit. But technically speaking, there's no good place. 
Te technically speaking, there's no good social media app. I guess you could argue Discord, but I would but I would debate that also being a social media app. But that's the closest that I would say. It fixed some of the bugs, but it relies heavily on its repetitive side content. Ah, okay, so like every single Bethesda game from the sounds of it <laughs> within like the past like five years because cause that sounds like everything past like New Vegas for, uh, for, 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 for Bethesda. Although I didn't really play Fallout 4. I didn't play like, oh, oh my god, what, what West Virginia simulator? And like every other port of Skyrim that they've done because that's the Grand Theft Auto 5 of that company. There's plenty of people who don't use social media and get by. I mean, sure, but like... I don't know, part of me just think it helped. Plus, like, I'm already this far in, so like, why not? Plus, I just like to watch things burn a little. I like to watch it burn, burn, burn. Being on Twitter, being on Twitter. I fell into a Twitter ring of fire, went down, down, down. <laughs> I wanted to die. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hang on. I know that. All right. Yes. The scissors. The scissors. Because I'm just going to use this time to find items and stuff. So I'm going to use this time to find some items, get some healing, and then continue on with the main quest. It's like my, or, or well, the path that I want to do right now. So yeah, let's save with the bucket knight. Like, I guess, like, Twitter's not all bad, I guess. I mean, like, like if I didn't use it, I, I, I'm i like, I wouldn't have found you guys, you know? I wouldn't have found you. I wouldn't have found the 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 funny man who's, whose name is a double Mega Man reference. Talking about zero. Oh, th th there's a couple people that I like and I'm still kind of just sticking around for. There's some cool people, but it's a cess it it's a cesspool of people who don't understand things and porn. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> All the time I'm just like scrolling in bed and I'm bored and I'm just like I want to see some funny memes and then I just see artists drawing ass. <laughs> just, just, just cue the AVGN clip where he's going ass. <laughs> uh, okay, that's basically what it is. And it's always the same five characters. If you haven't noticed. You like the art, though, and no, it's not all porn. I, I, I know, but but it's a funny joke, though. It's a funny joke of character exist and then rule 3, 4 artists are like sprinting. They're like the Flash. No, but like I've seen some good art that that that, that isn't uh, NSFW. And, and like those pieces of art are good. I... Oh, Diana. Oh, Diana. I love you with all my heart, Meg. Oh. Oh fuck! Enemies! Oh! Oh, you just popped up out of the ground! Oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> this thing is just sliding around! What- what the hell is this? Genshin Twitter is crazy? Oh, well Genshin- I- I- That's why I don't play Genshin! Be that's why I only play one mobile game and one mobile game only. And that's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And you know what? Their community is great. 
Well, sometimes. When they're not having discourse about anything, per se. Like, like when they're just having fun, it, it, it's actually kind of fun to, like, watch the community just go. Then again, I only, like, follow, like, a couple, like, content creators who play the game and I just, like, see their comments and stuff. And then I, like, see the comments below the comments and then I'm like, ha, you're funny. I like that. But aside from that, yeah. I agree. No, no but, like, I do like some art that, that I see on there. Wh I rarely ever retweet art. It's only when I think it's like super duper good. But like I also know that that if I just retweet any like anything art related, I know that it's going to get a million retweets and I'm going to get notifications in my feed and I'm going to be like, "All right, yeah. Hey. Look. Satisfaction, dopamine in my brain and be like, "No." Someone just liked your retweet, and someone just retweeted what you retweeted. Happens every time. Every single... Oh. Dude, dude that happened every single time. Uh, uh, back when people used to do... Uh, but I don't know how many people, like, remember this from, like, a couple years back. But it was these lists of people that they did every Friday. It was every Friday. And it was, like, a list of, like, hey, follow these people. They're pretty cool. And it's like, all right, cool. And I was all, and, and I was tagged on a few of them, like occasionally. And then, and like, I would just randomly just wake up like one morning and then it's like, hey, you got like five, six notifications. I'm like, oh, cool. What did I do? And then it's like, no, no, it's just other people forgetting to untag you in a post and, uh, or, or just people liking and retweeting a post that you're tagged in. Because that's a great feature on every social media platform. They should just get rid of that, please. Not, not, not the tagging part, but the fact that like it just defaults to everyone tagged in that post being tagged by default. That, that, that's the part that annoys me. But aside from that, that's eh, fine. And then I see Zach over here just retweeting like fifty pieces of, of, of uh, of, of Ranny from Elden Ring, like every single day. Like, like I'll just be scrolling, and, and then I'll just see Ranny the Witch, Ranny the Witch, Ranny the Witch, and then I'll be like, well, who's retweeting all this? And then I see just, I just see his name. You're sorry, that's why you quit doing that. That and people were asking to be in the list. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing a lot of those comments too on 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 a lot of those posts and they're just like, "Hey, hey, I think you're pretty cool. Can 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 I be in the thing next week?" And then like like on the one hand, like I'd understand like why but it's also kind of rude for a lot of the same reasons because i think the reason that like that like people would just ask to be on the list is it is because they would just want the publicity but that's my theory that's only a theory it made it no fun no exactly because like let's be honest at the end of the day it's your thing, and, like, you can put, like, whoever you want on your thing, and it doesn't matter. Or, well, it shouldn't matter. And and the thing just, well, with, like, anything, really, is that, like, you can't make everyone happy. I personally used to not like being on, on any of those lists just, just because I didn't like the attention... And, you know, and, you know, that was at a time when I still hated myself. So, you know, I didn't believe that, like, I deserved any kind of recognition for any kind of good deeds. Which, like, to an extent, I still don't. 
And I really don't. I haven't done anything ma majorly significant. But that's beside the point. That is beside the point. Cool, we almost have 12 marble. Awesome. Go brown. Is that number 12? Yes! Alright, cool, we have 12. Let's go. Uh, Alright, how many socks? Do we need? Uh, No, we need like... Six. We need six socks. Uh, oh, but we need eight clothespins. No! So Rainy is goaded. See, see, I would not know because I have not played Elden Ring, so I don't have any connection to that character. But that's just, like, my own personal... Well, I'm not going to say bias, but I guess just personal experience, so, like... Like, if you think Rainy's goaded, I'm like, I'm like, that's cool. It's just funny to point out, like, like occasionally and be like, hmm... Well, I wonder who's active right now. Oh boy, who's making the rounds today? I found a sock. With a sock, even though that's not part of the find target list. Interesting. I mean, but like, then again, I will like just about any art piece that, uh, that that like features Haru from Persona 5 or like Naoto from Persona 4 because they are the best. They 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 are the perfect the perfect goyles. Oh shit a scone. Fuck. <laughs> that room for it. God damn it. Uh alright. Um shit. All right, yeah, let's go turn this in, I guess. Or Silvando? I don't see Silvando that much, to be honest. I, I, and like that's a shame. I, 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 it, if there was like an artist that drew exclusively Sil, dude, dude, I would follow them in a heartbeat. Or there's probably like a daily Silvando account somewhere because there's a daily account for every character. Like, let's be honest. But, like, Silvando is, is, like, one of the greatest RPG characters of all time. So, you know, like, I, 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 I can't argue that. He's too good. He, he, he's underrated. You've seen a few. No, I agree that he's underrated. Like. Like, like, a hundred percent. God, there's so many enemies! Jesus Christ! Just let me get to the box, please. Nah, nah, but I would really love to see more... More, more silv... I would like to see silv, and I would like to see a... A, a Dave, or Dave... But, like, nothing suggestive, just, like, them being bros and being really fun. Like, like them just being best friends on the boat. Like, 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 I would love that. That's the kind of art that I enjoy. Not a... Not, not too big of a fan of shipping art, in my personal opinion. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess I can't go into the filth room anymore. Well, crap. All right, well, there goes my bucket night. Oh, what was I talking about? I don't know. I've been on this art rant for, like, minutes now. I guess it don't matter, though. Let's see, what's this? Uh, you're not wrong. Well, you're wrong about not doing anything significant, but you can't make me feel that way. I mean... I mean, what do you mean I'm wrong? I <laughs> Since I'm the one saying that I have done nothing insignificant, and that is my opinion, shouldn't it be the one to... Rest <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, I was going to go on like a whole like two-minute rant of like, Oh, well, it's my opinion. You should respect my opinion because it is what I say. 
And that is what being an adult means, or just some random BS like that, because I just thought it was funny. But nah. Yeah, let's just donate all the ribbons. Three more, and I'll give you a scrumptious reward. Cool, yeah, let's just donate all this stuff. You know, why does it have to just be one at a time? Bring me two more. Yush. You brought me three. Give me one more. One more. Yay. Give me my thing. I received a mince pie. Let's donate all of our marbles. For science. I I I see that and I have a bit for it. Oh Timmy, I respect your opinion, but as your father I'm asserting I'm I'm asserting my dominance by respectfully telling you that you're wrong in this case anyways. Oof. <laughs> it's crashed down the fucking door. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth every second. <laughs> I can be creative sometimes. I'm just not very I'm I'm not very creative like like when it comes to most of this. But like I'm creative in other avenues, I would say. My thoughts are creative and dumb. My ideas are that way. I'm just not very good at executing it a lot of the times. Which is a little bit of a problem, but also, it's not bad. Because I don't overexert myself by thinking too much. So, so though, it's a give and take situation. Give me the healing items now. Shit, that means I have to go back for that scone. Crap. Give me ten. Give me two more. Just let me deposit all of my items. I know it's supposed to be like, hey, you collect these things, drop them off one at a time as you go throughout the game. But no, I will not keep track of it. Shortbread. And then, and then no, is it eight those things? Six stock, eight, right? Yes, eight clothes. I knew I was right. Awesome. Well, cool. We got some good items. All right. Well, luckily, we haven't taken too much damage yet. Uh, Yeah, let's find the clothes. Crap. Nothing up here. Damn. All right. Come on, Brown. Okay. Well, maybe everything's where all the enemies are. All right. Well, that's locked. Crap. Where's the... God, where's the save point, then? Crap, that means that we have to go back. Or we could just use this. Go! Crap, that probably means we have to go back. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> well. Don't do it, Carmen. Well. I'm warning you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, Brown, where are you taking us, buddy? Wait, I have a guess on where we might be going. I want to guess the diary. Uh, the one inside that glass case. I don't know. That's my guess on where we're going. Okay, nope, because it would have been right there. But I think that might play into this in a little bit. That is my edumacation guesstimation, as I like to call it. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Evil goat children. If you're goats, why aren't you good? 
Isn't that what goat's supposed to mean? That's what the internet tells me all the time. They're just like, hey, <laughs> hey, you're the goat. You the cow. No, you the cow. Wow, Disney gets us. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Get off! Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get it off! Crap, I had to go around, don't I? Oh no, I'm stuck! No! No, they got me pinned! Crap! No! They got me barricaded! Crap, where's my health? Uh, uh, not even halfway. All right. All right, so I'm still safe. I'm still safe. Come on, Brown! There you are, buddy! Oh, I missed you, Brown. Let me tell you about my best friend. Dude, that was rough. And, like, the fact that, like, the weapons are also super weak as well, a lot of the time. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, it's rough, buddy. A drumstick. I wonder if that's for... I wonder if that's, like, brown specific. Second passenger hallway. Come on, boy. Where am I going? It doesn't. It doesn't matter what game wins Game of the Year because nothing will ever beat Madagascar on PS2. That is correct. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I still plan to play that game. Uh, November, like once Halloween's over, like that's gonna be the first thing that we finish, and then, uh, and then we're gonna do what I want to do for November. Which is like clear out what I wanted to play for this year. Or like just all the games that I wanted to like get rid of. Like essentially my bucket list. I I, I remember I talked about this a uh, little while back actually. I think I think it was last month. But uh but but like last year or last December I made like a video which is like, hey, these are like my favorite games that I played this year. It doesn't matter what year they came out. It's just that I played them that year. And so like, that's my favorite. Oh shit, it's Diana. And it's a goat. Uh oh, I hear it. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She was writing a, you a love letter. I already got it. I ripped it in half. Oh, I see. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even look at it. Ah, see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? Uh, I don't know. Dispose of it. Inventory full. Crap! Alright, well, good thing I'm going this way anyways, because this is where the, this is where the bucket night save point is, and this is where the, the trash bin is. The rubbish bin. I guess while I'm here, I should probably try and search for items. Just wherever I can. Hey, you watched that video? Oh, right, yeah, the video. Uh, yeah, but not. But but at the end of that video, uh, I basically, like, made a mini list of, like, games that I was excited to play, whether it came out that year or not. And I looked back at that list, and only, like, four of them I've played. And then once I realized that, I'm like, well, that, uh, huh. I, uh, I might want to play some of those. It, uh, it might be good. Yeah, I'm going to put away the biscuit tin. Hang on, let me save. Hang on, let me check the rubbish bin to see if Meg's pencil showed up back in the bin. Because I remember the beginning of the game saying that, like, items dropped on the ground will disappear back in the box. 
Ah, crap, no. I, I created an extra save. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. How to make icy water. Uh, I don't know. Put ice cubes in it. Freeze it. Put, put, put it in the freezer. Or no. No, it's Britain. Uh, the ice box. The ice box. That's what they call it. Wait. Wait, it's the 30s. Was that invented yet? Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, but, like, what was the other stuff that I was excited? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. so I can just drop stuff when I'm done with it if I don't have the room for inventory. Uh, I want to keep all the healing items on me, though. Uh, but, like, some of the games was, like, uh, I was excited for Kirby. Uh, I want to play Psychonauts 2 because I always... Because I love the first one. Aw, uh, crap! Oh. Oh, 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 that scared me for a second. Because I was like reading that message and then I just see the little square on my OBS turn red and I'm like, oh god! Not again! It's Meg's notebook. Uh, but, but then it was just also a bunch of other stuff and then I just didn't have time and I, did, and I was kind of lazy. So I was just like, eh, at that point, I'm just like, here, j just here's some other ones that I want to play. And it's like, uh, it's like Pokemon Snap. Actually, wait, hang on. Hang on, I have that list here. Uh, saved them the notes on my phone. I could, like, I could, like, just take a quick look at it. Uh, let's see, yeah, Kirby... Uh, right, yeah, near Replicant. I forgot, like, I got the special edition for that, and I never touched, I have not touched it after I opened it. Uh, let's see, the Shantae, or, or well, Shantae 1, and then Risky's Revenge on the Switch, because limited run, I got that. Psychonauts 2, Returnal, Donkey Kong Country 3, surprisingly, because at the time I was playing the first two, and I'm like, hey, it's Country 3, it's the next one, and I never played it, so I'm like, yeah, what's up? Slow network connection. What? Interesting. Oh no! You want to see the reaction, dude? Dude, literally, like, like I could not have timed that any better. Like the freaking Phil Pog. Just crashed the entire thing. We were going really good. What happened? As as soon as my face was about to laugh at crap, yeah, it did. It did. I noticed. <laughs> it's just. Fucking book. <laughs> you cannot make this up, man. You cannot make this up. Dude, I don't know what's up with my internet, man. Like, or well, or well, at least, like, the... It says it's, like, the drivers, but, like, but, like, I can't update the Ethernet drivers because I don't know what the cord is labeled as. I don't know. I gotta go into BIOS for that shit, but I'm stupid. I don't know. I'll figure it out. OBS sucks. Well, well, the thing about it is that whenever it crashes and, and I go into, like, the log files and I have an OBS look into it, it's like, well, it's because drop frames or your connection, not because of OBS itself. I might try and go back to Streamlabs and just try that out, but that means that I had to import all my assets from there. Because I figured that, like, OBS was, like, the more was like the more advanced version but i don't know i don't know i might go back to Streamlabs obs or something but i'm gonna have to do more research about that be because if it does well why well actually no the problems that i always had with Streamlabs is that if the stream crashed it wouldn't reconnect 
It would not reconnect, which is the weird thing. So, like, I would have to end the stream. And then it would, uh, and then I would have to restart it again. You've never had a problem with Streamlabs? I, I, I had minimal problems with Streamlabs, but I've had a few problems with OBS. But I don't know. Uh, I, I, I might just have to do some test runs with it, uh, to be honest some like test runs before I like try it again because technically like Streamlabs and OBS are like the same thing or like the same company if I remember correctly be because the full thing is Streamlabs OBS but I don't know which one's better out of the two so again further study is needed it's not your internet no way well apparently to Streamlabs it is even though my internet is I, I I have taken multiple screenshots of this whenever the stream crashes and like my internet icon says that I'm still connected. And it's always like, well, update your drivers. All my drivers are updated, my guy. All of my drivers are up to date. So it confuses me on why you refuse to work with me. My bit rate is at the recommended thing that you recommended. My processor can handle it. My RAM can handle it. It can handle more advanced stuff than this. Yet, this is the consistent problem. Anyway, let's read this book instead of being bitter. <laughs> Chapters. The Prince and the Princess. Aristocrat. Club Manners. Meg in Invention Corner. Findings on the Land of the Imps. Prince and the Princess. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, Aristocrat Manners. Lesson one. Curtsy. That teaches us how to curtsy. Lesson two. Hosting. Words of the Princess of the Red Rose. Or Words of the Princess of the Red Rose. Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter amply rewarded. That was from a few chap. That was from like a couple chapters ago. That was when uh when we found the bird and then we ended up touching uh Amanda with the rat. Torture chair. It's a spinning it's a torture chair on a spinning chair. Interesting. That is a that is a very Crude drawing. Torture bag. Song for an onion. Onion bag. Secrets of the land of blank. Secrets of the land of uh... land of what? I I don't know. It just stops there. It just says. Uh... We must have died while writing it. <laughs> Well, it's just nonsense. Well, that's what it says. I read it. <laughs> so what about this land of... Uh... <laughs> I fucking love Monty Python. <laughs> I love it so much, dude. Uh... Uh, let's see. Playroom. Following the popularity of airships, the orphanage built several... Several what? Nah, he was taking the shit. <laughs> then why would it be cut off? Why would it be cut off then? It don't make no sense. Must have been written by Biggest Dickus. That would have happened before because the Holy Grail was in England. That was in Bible times. That happened way before. Get your continuity right, God damn it. Yes. No, I've had it. Shit. Shit, it's so hard he died and simultaneously ripped off the page he was working on. This is a little girl. Why are you guys saying he? I was just referencing the movie. It's a reading from Meg's notebook. The item was called a Meg's notebook. Ah! This is a little brainy girl. She has glasses, so that means that she's a nerd. Like, like zero, like, like, what? 
Like, I understand if you just came in, but, like, but like all the children we've basically met or that, in, that are important to the plot are, like, are, like, little British girls, which is the scariest thing of all, is the fact that they're British, not, not, not the fact that they're girls. Okay. That, 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 that don't scare me. So this must be the onion bag. I don't know what's in there. Well, well, no. Well, no. I do know what's in there. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Oh, whoops. How was I supposed to know that you're busy doing other... Nah, 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 it's cool. It, 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 it's just funny to be over-exaggerated or, 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 like, point stuff out like that. Ju just for a reaction. I, I personally like it because, believe it or not, we do do a bit of trolling around here at the Kamek Room channel. As, as if you guys don't already know. I mean, like, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We, we, we do do a bit of trolling here. That, that's a, that's kind of our mantra, if you didn't know. Meg. Shut up, Meg. Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Dispose of this paper. I don't like it. Put it in the recycling bin. I need you to go and find it. Okay? Oh, God, is this the fucking Romeo and Juliet thing? Oh, oh, Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Seems to be a letter meant for Diana, but it's torn and impossible to read. Come on, Brown. Brown? Er. Just fucking exhibit. Brown's gonna give it to you. What fuck with you to get it on your own? Brown gonna deliver it to you. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. <laughs> hey, I found the eighth clothespin. Let's go. And now we just need a few more socks then. Uh, shit. I don't have anything to find. Oh, wait, no. I do. Shortbread can find some socks. Didn't want to make any more shit jokes, and now that you know his name is Brown, you're about to go bananas. Wait, wait, are 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 you are you saying that you're about to go bananas? B a n a n a s. This shit is bananas. B a n a n a s. Like that kind of bananas. Yo, I didn't know that you were a that you were a Gwen Stefani fan. Mr. X gonna give it to you? Aw, oh, dude. I remember those memes. That's th that's old, because that's 2018, right? Because R because RE2 Remake was 2017, 2018, right? I could be wrong about that, though, but that sounds fair fairly on point, I'd say. Yeah, no. Aw, oh, dude. Dude, that's old. I guess it's because I am old. I'm, I'm, I'm basically the youngest boomer known to man. Like when you think about it. <laughs> Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> in, in my mind, I read that "Whoa" as like Weird Al Yankovic from from Albuquerque, and he's like. Oh, hold up now, baby. I'm just not ready for that kind of a commitment. And we broke up and I never saw her again. That's just the way things go. In Albuquerque. <laughs> Speedy Pumpkins, would you like to join the Columbia Record Club? <laughs> We're in the wine storage. Oh shit, we're not supposed to be here. We can't drink yet. We're just children. Me. 
Last month you introduced your friends to that song while you were in a car and they all died laughing. It was so funny. Oh, nah, dude, 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 that song is like utterly hilarious. Just the fact that it like goes on for, for forever and like the plot or well, whatever plot that there is just is the most random shit you could ever think of. Cause like, let me see if I can like remember the song because the song starts out with like Al as a boy or, or like a fictionalized version of Al as a boy. And so, and his mother force fed him sauerkraut and then he won a radio contest to go to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, and so he won that trip when he was like 26 and a half years old. Specifically, he says 26 and a half years old. I forgot how he won the contest. No, no, but like then he goes to Albuquerque. He's like, "All right, cool, cool. I'm in the hotel, and there, and, and there's a chocolate mint on my pillow, and uh, or no, no, no. Next thing that happens is the plane crash be because he's on the plane, and then he's next to two large Albanian women, severely excruciating, severely excruciating body odor." And the kid behind him kept throwing up the whole time. <laughs> oh, and then the left engine blow out. We flew into a tails. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm not going down there. Hell no. Forget that noise. I'm not going down there. Nope. Yeah, and yeah, then after the plane crashed, uh... Like, everyone died except for him. And then, like, he grabbed his suitcase. Uh. He had, like, a million things he was dragging along, like, after he crashed. He's like, I grabbed my suitcase and my garment bag and my tenor saxophone and my 12-pound bowling ball. My lucky, lucky autograph glow-in-the-dark snorkel. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> and then he gets to the hotel in Albuquerque. And, and and so he gets to his room and that and then uh oh and what was it then a hermaphrodite shows up with a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril man i man i hate when that shows up <laughs> and then um and he gets in a fight with the hermaphrodite person Not just a hotel, but a hotel where the towers are oh so fluffy. That that's right. Yep, yep, yep. I'm I'm skipping out on details here, man. Uh. Man, if I didn't have someone like you around, like like like, like I would have been doing the man a great disservice by by not pointing out that oh so important fact because they are oh so fluffy, which is what makes them so special. And the air smells like warm root beer. All right, I forgot what I was doing. Uh. I was basically just giving a highlight on on, Al on all of Albuquerque, but 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 I think I should just stop there, be because then it, like it would just ruin the surprise of the song because the song is that good. That like I don't want to give away the twists, or like whatever twists that there are. But yeah, oh. But it's like eleven minutes long, so like if you don't have a tolerance for anything. Then you will not. Uh, then you will not enjoy it like I do. Yeah, I was looking for socks. Oh God, is it gonna take me back in that room where all those enemies fell down from? Cause if it is, and there's a sock down there, like then I'm gonna be upset. But like, also, I, I kind of just want that sock, dude. I just want it. Fuck, it is. Crap. Alright, well... Yep. That's fine. Still can't believe your friends were still laughing throughout the whole 11 minutes. It's that good. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh I agree. What do you mean, uh? 
You said that there was a thing here, Brown. What's your deal? Map used for invest uh for navigation. It's course plotted from England to India. Ah, I see. Ah, so it must be uh Columbus's map. Oh fuck, it's a trap. Oh shit, hang on. A knife. A knife imp. Stun him, Brown. Stun them while I pick them off from the stairs. Yeah, stair, stair cheese. Good job, Brown. Who's a good boy? Who's a good stun locker? You are. You're a good stun locker. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, was she trying to stomp him like a necromorph? <laughs> Doing the freaking Isaac Clark stomp? Just sounds like someone whispering quietly into a mic for the scary sound effects. Oh god, it sounds like Whitey from uh, from Eight Crazy Nights. I'm at the radio room. It's the radio to see how does it show the technical foul. I'm losing it. Cutting in and out, my man. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. It, 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 it wasn't important. I, I uh. Well, like, like it was appearing fine, like, like, uh, like when the feed was coming in. But I don't know. Maybe I was just peeking so much that like it wasn't just catching up. And maybe that's like just a thing with like I don't know. Maybe the sound, uh, a suppression or something like that. But I have no clue. Because like I notice that whenever I get like a little bit like louder or higher pitched, because my mic isn't picking it up as often. And, like, I have to get really close, but, like, I don't like to be really close because then it comes off super loud and then it becomes, like, really hard to hear anything because it's just me being loud, like... <laughs> do I have a noise gate? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I remember when I was, like, first setting up all my streaming stuff, like, I had a friend, uh... Uh, tell me it'd be wise to have, like, a noise gate and the sound suppression on my stuff. Oh, fuck, it's a goat. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> Should I turn off the noise gate? And, like, maybe that'll help? I don't know, is that what a noise gate does? Because I, honest to God, like, don't understand it. Because, like, people smarter than me have, like, told me what certain things are and what they mean. Crap, I didn't get the knife, did I? Oh, no, I did. I did. I did. The Viscount. 
What's in here? The generator. You have no idea? Oh, okay. Well, again, I just figured that since you're somewhat smarter than me, that I figured that you might have an idea of what that means. But I guess maybe a noise game might do that. I honest to God, I have no clue. Yes! Bucket Knight! My boy! Oh, wait, no, I needed six socks and eight clothespins. All right, perfect! All right, so let's stash away a few items that we don't need. Like this. Dumb, what do you mean? Hey! Don't you say that. That's a big no-no. <laughs> Wait. No. no, I got it. I I I I got it. Oh, Zachary, I respect your opinion, but as one of your good friends, I respectfully I assert my dominance and respectfully tell you that you're wrong in this case anyways. <sighs> Bam, see? See, I can pull that too. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. No other class gonna do that. Bam! Alright. Alright, we're making some good progress. And mainly by good progress, I mean good item collecting. Oof, got me? Yeah. Get got, nerd. <laughs> oh, how precious. The friend got god by the streamer. <laughs> just the fucking, like, picture of Lord Farquaad just laughing. But, but instead of just, like, pointing and laughing and being, like, simp. Or, like, or, like, the, or, like, the Discord mod has fallen in love with the kitten. Or like whatever shitty dut or like whatever people put down. It's, it's just oh no, someone got got. How hilarious. Bap 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 bap. Ah! Get off! Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! Alright, I just want to make it to the freaking, like, children's area. Or no, the box. The box is what I'm looking for. That's, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to search for that letter. Because I just want those healing items, to be honest. That's the only reason that I just want these items. <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> God, it's such a long way, though. Fuck, that's what sucks. There's gonna be a long way back. <laughs> The, these freaking ghosts just sit in a chair and sit back. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Uh. Ah. Oh. Oh, maybe they're just going bod. It just sounds like laughing because of the PS2. Yeah, maybe that makes a lot more sense as well. I, I probably should have thought of that because, like, goats ba like that a little bit. They're more like, bah, bah, bah. First, I think. That, that they got a little bit of, like, a higher pitch, but it's, like, also more in the throat a little bit. It, it's kind of like how Tom Kenny, like, describes the SpongeBob laugh, where, where, where he, like, pulls, like, part, part of his throat together and just bounces back and so he can go. I don't, know, I don't know. Someone knows what I mean. So, someone knows what I'm talking about. Please. 
please tell me that you guys know, like, or, like, I've seen that, like, interview where, where, like, he talks about how he does that laugh. I need to offer five more socks. I need to bring you four more socks. Bring the socks to me. I am... I, I am Socktonium. The Sock Overlord. You will donate everything to me. <laughs> that, that, they're being like a, they're being like in a, like a god of socks. Reminds me of this, uh, this video that like I've been a little bit obsessed with recently. Uh, it's this old SFM animation. I guess I think it's old, but, uh, but, but it's an SFM animation about Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's got to be one of the funniest things I've ever sat down and watched. If, if you have not watched it, it's called Night of the Pizza Bear. It's genius. Oh, I got some white chocolate. Everyone's favorite, white chocolate. Even though everyone hates it. White chocolate's not bad, guys. It's not. It's not that bad. I like it. I think it's pretty good. I would say. I don't know. And there we go. There's number eight. Perfect. Oh, so we have deposited almost all of our items. Received some shortbread. Oh. That's uh, it's two shortbreads, and I think that's one free inventory slot. Awesome. All right. Now, go, Brown. We must find the source of the letter. Is it in here or is it down there? It's down there. Good for you. Now, like the only reason the the only reason that I brought up the video was because uh, uh because like there's like a joke in there where where it's like the animatronics will sacrifice you to uh to to Pisa the 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 Italian god of the of the of, of the dough or some shit. And, and it's literally just Exodia with pizza toppings on him. And like a mustache and a hat. Because Italian. Oh god, it's Clock Tower! Sister Bitten! Oh god, this is obviously a Clock Tower homage with this. Come on. Come on, there's a clock right there. The giant pair of scissors are are you serious dude like like well, like you can't hide that from me game come on no no remove you and then I'll use a mince pie perfect Ow. No, I died! Oh my god, that's the first death. Holy crap, they do a lot. Oh my god. Little princess, little princess. Precious little princess. Uh. And everyone. Fuck, I can't read that. That's too small. The little girl was uh, as beautiful as a princess. But she was always all alone. A girl found something. This is the colors of her funeral. And everyone lived happily ever after. Well, crap. Let's see. I I like using the pipe, but is one of the uh, but is one of the weapons that I have stronger? Because if I have a stronger weapon, then I don't know. Let's see. See, is there a weapons thing here?
Alright, never mind. I'm just gonna look up rule of rose weapons. Where can I find these weapons? Rule of rose. Give it to me. All right, let's see. Mm. All right, never mind. That's just people giving their opinions on stuff. Oh, that's not very helpful at all, game. Thank you, or, well, internet. Thank you. Order of weapons by string. That's Never mind, that doesn't help you. So. <laughs> If I wanted to, like, I could just go through this game and, uh, and, like, uh, and just do another playthrough where I, like, get everything and, like, have a better setup, but I don't know. It says, higher attack power than the steel pipe, but must much less range. I see. Apparently... Apparently the kitchen knife is weaker. Okay. Uh, then I might try the ice pick. I don't know. Apparently there's a shovel. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably try the ice pick. Why not? Yeah, I'll use that instead of the pipe. To uh, just have a better thing. Equip. It does have less range, but I think that I can trade that. Right, I can't swap out things that are not, uh... Crap. No, I need that. I need all those socks. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I missed a knife, which means that I won't get, like, a an ultimate weapon. Apparently, well, that's not good. Which I would like these ultimate weapons. Thank you. I put the ice pick, and then I don't, I don't know. Let's see how it does. The ice pick. Eh, it's not terrible. But if it does more damage, then I'll take that more than anything. I, I I will sacrifice range for damage, because that might just get things done faster. I don't know. That is my humblest opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and dump everything off. Oh, no. no let's save first as Mr. Bucket. Then let's head off to the, uh, to the donation box and then go take care of the goats. Because I think once we take care of the goats, we should be fine. And then I just have to stock up on items before the mermaid boss because I hear that one's really tough. That's like a super tough boss. So I can't wait for that. But I don't think there's many chapters after that, though. So I think... Because this game isn't long, it's just very tedious because you just have to remember your way around. So, I don't know, we could probably get, like, a lot of the ways done with the game. If not, just, like, downright complete it. Aha! I was shrill! But, th but there's no promises on beating the game today. Like, definitely no promises, but I think we can get pretty close. Because we got to get the three things, and then... And then I think we got to, like, explore a house. 
And then a bit more of the airship. Because there's not that many bosses in the game. There's like three bosses, I think, off the top of my head. There's Hoffman. There's the, there's the mermaid coming up. And then there's the final boss. And everything else is just enemies. I'm going to have to double check on that. Yeah, but but not yet. It's a, it's a semi-short game, but if you're trying to do, like, everything with it, then you have a lot, a lot of, lot, a lot of time. But let's just, let's just focus on what we can do right now. Focus on what's ahead of us. Come on, Brown, my trusty sidekick and partner in crime. I wish that there was a bucket knight around here. I wish there was an item to track a bucket knight, actually. That would be really good. Just have. Just, like, have a readily available save. I mean, great. Well, no, because because if we go back, we have to go all the way back through those rooms just to get to that one save point inside the generator, which is a long ways away. Unless there's like a save point around here that I just don't know about, which I might want to try and look into. No, yeah, because the cafeteria is longer down the way. We're going to donate socks. I make an offering to the sock god. Actually, yeah. Hang on. And I'm going to look into that while I'm, uh, while I'm donating socks. Offering. I've already donated three socks. Um. Oh, that's funny. No, no, not that. That. Um. Oh god, what was I looking up? Oh right, yeah, see. Right, they're like a specify pulls up Animal Crossing first hand. Awesome. Uh Nice, white sauce. Let's go. Now the close in. If I, if I just find the chap. Hoffman. No. All right. All right. Well, it doesn't say much about it. About save points. So that sucks because uh, I really don't like guys that are just like a straight, like one and done objective type thing. Just tell me everything if you can.
two of the clothespins. I gotta do six. Damn it, the guide says to use the steel pipe too. Just because they have a lot of range and just to stay out of range. Alright, we're gonna try with the with the thing, and if we uh if we succeed, then hooray. If not, then oh well. We'll still try donate and use whatever we can. Uh to make it out alive. But but I think we should be fine, because if we can do more damage, we can kill him faster. Yeah, because all I have to do is just avoid them and then just hit them. Okay, so I can search for items if I want after the boss fight. Cool. Alright, well, round two, baby! Round two! Dude, I can't believe that we died. That was like the first... We didn't even die to Hoffman. We were out of items. Which is interesting, actually. In here! And then they're gonna pop out of the ground! Ooh! All right, come on. And ba-boom. Scissors and pitchfork. Ow. All right, well, yeah, they already took a big chunk of my thing. Ouchie, out. Uh, and then, yeah, let's use a mince pie. I think that should get us back to just about full. Ow. Shit. Ow. No. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, you're dead. Nice. Nice. So the ice pick was the way to go. Because I'm just stun locking him. Nice. And Brown's stunning him too. Good job. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Dude, we are the best team in the world. Good job, Brown. Check the clock, I guess. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's just a real-ass goat in there, dude. That's disgusting. Boom. The time is now, Jennifer. There you are. You killed there the... There you are. Oh. Hi, girls. Happy to see me? No, not yet. Now. I found your letter to Diana. Why do you have it? I found it? Because Diana threw it away? <laughs> That's why. Me. What did I ever do to her? I can't get along with girls like her. Wow. <laughs> it's into the onion bag for her. The onion bag? Oh, no. This is exactly what I thought it was. No, no, no. Oh no, this is where they just throw bugs in there. 
Oh. This is awful. Oh no, it is a Brazil bag! That's even worse, it's a Brazil bag! Dude, I would lose my shit if I was in that bag. I, 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 I would rather die than be stuck in that fucking bag. Full of all those goddamn bugs. Who would even think of such a thing? Jesus Christ. All right, well, now seems like a good time to go search for items. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go search for stuff because there should be no more danger. And I think we just have to pick up the last pages of the book. Because that's, cause, cause that's what happened last time. Go and stock an item. Uh, nah, I'll put that away for now, and then I'll keep everything else. Oh, well, I'm only confined to this room, so perfect. Oh, come on, Brown. Is there nothing in here? Ah, shh. Fuck, I thought I could search for items. There's the papers underneath it. Even true love is quickly shredded by it. Alright, well that's okay. We can start at the next chapter then. The Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter. Ba ba. Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read Big Sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. Both Big Sister and full Amber Blood, who was there to read the letter to. Ba ba. Even true love is quickly shredded by conflict. Alright, so basically what happened with that book is like, alright, freaking Meg wrote Diana a letter. Ba ba. Uh, uh, Diana shredded it up because she doesn't give a shit. Ba ba. All the pieces are scattered now. Ba ba. And so you find it inside a goat's stomach. Ba ba. And then it's like, well, there's conflict, so that's not even true love. All right, so what's going to be written on here? A true love? Because it was everlasting, true... I imagine it's going to be true love. Like, like it's going to be the moral of the book. Everlasting gobstoppers are my true love. Bam. There. I, I just wrote your book for you. You took a game break? What? What'd you miss? Uh, we beat the goats. Uh, we got put into a bag and people threw bugs in it. And I shit myself because that is a terrifying nightmare. Um, and, uh, we figured out, uh, what the last page of the book was. It was all about, uh, true love. And how true love can be torn by conflict. Because we're going through a set of scenarios where we gotta go through each of these books. And it's like, alright, we'll read the books go through a level and then like figure out like a message through a set of puzzles do you remember now see you remember the second one read the final it's not all of it you really are a silly girl silly 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 girl read another story jennifer <laughs> Who's with the mermaid? Okay. 
Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, no. Uh, we're actually, like, more than halfway through the game, actually. All right, the Mermaid Princess. So this boss is really hard. This is, like, the second main boss, and I'm going to fucking hate it. Mermaid Princess. That looks disturbing. A long time ago, the Mermaid prin Princess fell in love with the human prince. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 but for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. And all alone on the day of her death, the poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who would ever want to become an ugly woman like her? And then ripped page. And then that's the setup for the whole chapter. Now we gotta go murder somebody else. This is the second adult boss. Out of three. But yeah, you didn't miss much. Uh, uh, we got some items. That was probably the best thing that happened to us. We got, a, we got some scones. Is this still October? Or is it August? Yeah. July, August, September, October. August, 1930. The Mermaid Princess. And they're all hanging by hooks. Hooks, boyo! Hooks! Nah, but you playing Minecraft? You playing Minecraft with your buddies there? That's pretty cool if you are. I mean, like, I don't mind. I just think it's cool. The strong will princess was there in the room. Alright, so this is the, the Diana chapter. It <sighs> said sourly. Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Itch. Like, all right, Diane, relax. Itch. Hey, what's this? Shortbread. Nice. I do like a good piece of shortbread. Uh, hang on, what's my inventory looking like? Uh, it's looking pretty all right. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just look for stuff. Why not? We'll look for stuff on our main quest. Come on, Brown. Are you serious, my guy? Find a sock. Alright, fine. Come on, Brown. Gotta get out of here. The first class guest sector. Ooh la la. We're in the fancy people's rooms. I think this chapter I can get like a meat cleaver. Nobody's here. There's the gift box. Come! Uh-oh, that's, uh, that's Wendy. That's Wendy crying. What is it? Question mark? No way! There's no such thing! This month's gift, an unmarried mermaid. Oh, crap. Well, I can't do that. I can't bring anything. I can't bring a mermaid. Shit, I'm fucked then. Oh yeah, let's check this board. Let's see what's up. Let's see. Now the refined part. Okay, so Diana's the Duchess. Eleanor's the Countess. Have I moved up? The Baroness Meg. Oh, I'm still in the lower class then. I'm just filthy. Alright, so that hasn't changed. Got it. Miserable Amanda. Okay, well, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be searching for, then. All that was in that room was just a piece of sword. Maybe if we go down here, uh, we can find Wendy. Maybe we can get a hint on where to go. It's good to have a piece of shortbread. Have another healing item in our inventory. I like it. I like it a lot. Aha! Cutscene. There's Meg and uh, Eleanor. Well, princess and the wise-looking princess were thinking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. I was quite upset. 
think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. I see. There's no such thing as mermaids now, is there? Alright, cool. We can't go into the luggage room. Damn. How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? Old princess said. They're such beautiful and pure creatures. Looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? Better hurry. Diana might find it before you. How dare she! I will not allow her to search for it. I will be the one to find the mermaid. What is that, a button? I didn't read it. Crap. Oh, it's, it's a scale. Oh, a fish scale. Okay, interesting. Alright then. Oh, no brown. Anything over here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Lock and load! Oh, Sector 7. Interesting. Alright, did not expect that. Actually, let's use the sock to find a scone. Alright, never mind. Let's just use the shortbread to find anything. Oh, good job, Brown. More shortbread. Awesome. Ooh, we found shortbread with the shortbread. Strawberry on the shortcake. All right. I can always use more healing. Thank you, Brown. Ah, sock. Perfect. All right, well, nothing more with the shortbread, then. Uh, marble. Can we find a marble? All right, well, I can't seem to unlock that for some reason. Can't find anything else. Let's just use the fish scale, then. Yo! Why can I not open this? It was on this side that it was locked. Wait, I think it's just blocked from the other side. Alright, come here, Brown. Brown had a nice view there for about five seconds. Uh, I believe this Jennifer is like... At this point in time, she's like, I don't know what, she's like 15? I honest to God don't know, but yeah, she's young. Watch it. Even though at the current timeline she's an adult, this version is going through some re relivings of her past, so she's a little girl, so yeah, watch it. Oh, candy. I just got a free piece of candy. Hang on, Brown. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, is there anything else? No? Okay. Well, okay. All right, Brown. Tally ho. It's Brown doing the look and not me. You're just pointing it out. You know what? Fair point. I didn't even think about that. I did not think of it that way. You know what? Good point. I rescind my statement and we'll have it stricken from the record, Your Honor. God, I need to play more Ace Attorney. Fuck.
like I haven't even finished the first game on like the trilogy pack. I'm on like case five of like the first game. Like I haven't even beaten it. I think I'm still doing investigations last time I checked. But like I still remember what's happening. Or, or like I remember the other cases that at, at the very least. Because they're fun and well they're that memorable I'd say. Aside from that, like, I just don't, like, or, or, I, or I just haven't touched it, because I'm playing other games right now, which sucks, because Ace Attorney's really good. You started with number five, and while that's a bad idea, in context, it's become your favorite uh, Ace Attorney game because of that. Which one's number five? Because it's, uh... Let's see. It's uh it's Ace Attorney one, then uh the Ace Attorney two, that's um uh Oh my god, I forget the names of the games. So I know Trials and Tribulations is one of them. Uh Dual Destinies is one of them. Play bottom of the sea. Oh, Ace Attorney 5 is a dual destiny. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting, considering uh, how far into the timeline that is. That's uh, that's very far ahead, actually. Huh. Not bad. Justice... For some reason I thought Justice for All was, uh, was the third one. I don't know why. And then... Oh, Apollo's 4. Okay. Yeah, and Spirit of Justice. Yeah, but where does Miles Edgeworth Investigations fit into all this? Where's the spin-off come into play? Where's a rock? Fish head, fish head, roly-poly fish heads. The fish head that's been chopped off its body. And then, yeah, we'll use the meat cleaver. Put that. Because the meat cleaver is pretty good. And we can probably just drop this. Yes, just drop the ice pick. And then drop the scale. Now we need a fish head. Uh, 3.5 for the first one. Don't know when the second one is. Oh, I was kind of just joking about that, but all right. The the fact that you went that extra mile, you know what? Good, uh, good for you. All right. Not bad. Oh, maybe I, it. It's just the way that I talk that it's hard to tell things sometimes. So like, I get it. I get it, dude. No problem. Ugh. All right. Now we got to go under the sea, under the sea. God. You know what I found out about today? You know what I found out today that's actually super good? There has been a ramen place next to my house being built for quite some time, and it's finally open. I literally discovered it being open today. And the fact that I didn't know about it is astounding. But the fact that I do know about it now is great. A what place? A ramen place. I said ramen. Like the soup for weebs. Oh, hey, Diana. What's up? Fish has got to be this way. I just know it. I thought he said rom. Oh. Oh, what, like, ROM hacks? No, 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 no. Those don't... Well, I mean, those do exist, but they're not, like, physical places. But not yet, like... Like, I've just never been there before, so, like, I think it'll be interesting to, like, go there. So I'm probably gonna go there tomorrow, uh, once I get off of work. Which I think would be great. As, uh... 
because it'll be a new place to try out. So, and, and it's literally like five minutes away from my house. So that's like the best thing ever. Aha, another item. Doll leg. Yep, uh, yep, this is a sign of things to come. Top half is missing. Top half of a doll is missing. Cool. Find that brown. And then this can be dropped. Into the item box you go. Whoa! Away you go! Oh my god, they got, like, fish heads on them. Ow. Ah, off of me! Off of me! Nice. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. Oh my god, and they flop. Oh, Jesus, they flop around and it does damage. That is even cooler, actually. Ow, ow. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. Oh my god, they sound like Child Link. <laughs> this will live in your nightmares now knowing that they flop like fish. Jesus. Yeah. Like, it's kind of fucked, dude. And these are supposed to be like children. Like, actual children. But they're like half fish, half children hybrids. Uh, no. No, remove that and then go. Oh god! Brown! Come here! Come here, Brown, so you don't get hit. Oh my god, can I just stab them? Like, while they're flopping around? Please? Oh my god, I can! Oh crap, and I can stomp on them! Amazing! The, the, this is the Dead Space remake right here, guys. Holy shit. Two stomps like that and they're dead? Damn. Alright. That's... That's kind of metal. I didn't even know that. Yeah! <laughs> Literally, all I can just hear is, like, Ocarina of Time Link. I'm not even kidding. Oh god, and they don't get up either. Which is even worse. He did a number on me. Damn, that's actually pretty good. You think even Child Link would be scarred for life? Because these ain't Zora he, 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 he's dealing with. You know what? Fair.
That's super fair. God, yeah, they really do a number on you, which sucks. Oh, no, Brown, can you find more stuff for me? Uh, I don't know. Let's use the sock to see if we can find at least a scone. I mean, the scones aren't good, but there's something. All right. Nope. Never mind then. All right. Come on, Brown. Use the doll legs to find the other part of the mermaid. Mermaido. The littlest mermaid. He's mermaid place. All right, what is this? It's loading a room with an animation playing. Come the fuck on. Oh, God. Old man sitting there. Uh-oh, what's he going to do? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, what the fuck happened? Oh. I think I saw something I wasn't supposed to see. Is there a save point? Or is there a save point that I can find around here? There is, I would love to save. Thank you. Hang on, where am I? Okay, all right, so. Okay, so if I go back, I can find a uh, save point. Come here, Brown. I should probably save for this boss because I don't want to... Because, like, this isn't a long chapter... Or at least from, like, how we've been going about it. Especially since we haven't been, like, finding items. But it's still very, very, very easy to get lost in. So, I think we can go up to find a save point. Like, because we, we went this way to follow Diana. I think in this... I think we can go up again. Yeah, let's just go. Let's see where this leads. Let's hope it's not uh, anything bad. Upper vertical tail. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. No, yeah, it just looks like the other room that we were just in. Alright, never mind. This is nothing. This is just a dead end to confuse us. Alright, listen, there was also a door down from where we were. Uh, I don't know. Gotta be something in this room over here. Oh, we can go in. Starboard horizontal... Starboard horizontal tail. Yeah. 
words. Nope. Boop. Nope. Um, alright. Am I in the right place because the guy just kind of take me all over the place? If I go down, there should be a door, I guess. Or maybe this way. Aha! What is in here? Aha! An observation room, of course. Candy! Some candy! Cool, so we can stock up and save here. The meat cave is the best. All right, so let's see. Uh, we will deposit the socks, and we will deposit the uh the doll leg. Fine. Actually, nah, we can keep it. We already have enough stuff. I will actually need to pee. So I need. Mm. And I still got some drink left in my bottle, so it should be good. Give me like two seconds. Let me put at least some back on. Yeah, this piano. You can listen to this for like a second. Oh my god, we got the fill. We, we got the fog wave again. This time it didn't crash everything into oblivion. That's good, that's good. All right, let's continue on to a very annoying boss. Come on, Come on Brown. Oh, God, I hope I can just beat this in a couple tries. Because if I can't, oh, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. It is not going to be pretty. It is not going to be a pretty sight. It's not going to be but a pretty sight, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to on the domain I just gotta deal with the dang old fish, man. You know, I just gotta deal with the goddamn mermaid going on all about this freaking whatever, man. 
I just turned into Boomhauer. That's like kind of what I do. I don't know why. Let's roll. Let's do it. Ah, crap. We got to go around anyways. Fuck. I, uh, I, I just got to make sure that, like, things are under control. Because right now, like, part of my family's over at the ER. Or something. And it's just me and my brother here at the house. So, I could, like, we got to be careful. These fish, man. These fish. It's a good thing I saved. Now, Boomhauer, whatever you're going on about, I pray to God it doesn't fall the fish lady hell-bent on killing you. Look, Hank, you just don't understand. I don't know the dang old the, 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 the roads. And, you know, you got the you got fancy people and the don't. Look, now, Boomhauer, I understand what you're trying to do. Just make sure you don't do anything illegal. That's all that matters. Well, gee, Hang, I mean, uh, that don't go bad. <laughs> all right, then. You try any funny business, I'm going to kick your ass, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just love, like, having fake conversations with Hank Hill and just whoever the fuck. I think it's funny. I think it's funny and, like, it works. What if I try going the other way, actually? What will, uh, what will I find there? Because if I, because like if I can avoid the fish children, God damn it, I gotta fight the fish children again. Ah, get off! God, the stomp sucks. Fucking murder me, why don't you? I have the same effect at this point. On. Dude, this sucks. The fuck is this? This is like the worst room in any horror game I've ever experienced. This is like bad. This is bad, bad. Jesus Christ. Like, the fish enemies are just the worst. Because, like, they just flop around, and then they hit you, and they do so much damage because they're in, like, a big group, and then they just fucking, like, obliterate you in, like, two seconds. And then you're dead. And let me make sure that brown doesn't have anything on the fine menu. Ah, that's why. 
All right, Brown, if you can go ahead and stun them and distract, like, at least the fish, I can kill the others and then just walk past the fish kids. Like, as they do their thing. And then go into the room and fight the boss and then chapter done. And then we could do the next... We could finish up, like, the next chapter and a half, I'd say. Probably. Maybe. Mayhap. I don't know. I don't know. I have a lovely meat cleaver to introduce to you, fish boys. Come on, Brown. Distract them. Distract them better. All right. Cool. Come on. Move. Yes. All right. Brown, come on. Come on, Brown, we can do this. And you know, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. GG's. And then Brown spawn. Brown used instant transmission. He learned it on Yardrat. Oh. Uh oh, it's a fucking contraption. Yeah, so this fight is fucked. <laughs> oh. Prepare, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah, so this girl will use vomit and it will, like, fuck you up. Well, time to erase that forever. Also, like, uh, what we didn't see is that, uh, is that, like, Hoffman, like, like, basically, uh, uh, uh sexually assaulted this girl. So, like, we never saw that part of the cutscene because for some reason it, like, bugged out. But, yeah. But, yeah, like, the teacher dude is, like, a fucking creepo predator, man. If I haven't said it before or already, um, yeah, this game has some very wild goddamn themes. Yeah, so this is like a teenage girl. Ow. Ah, 
God damn it. Oh god, oh the candy's fucking useless. So I could have just been using the candy first. Damn. Damn it, Boomhauer. I told you not to get into a fight with a fish girl. Now I have to see it in my memories forever. And it's all thanks to you. Now I'm going to kick your ass. I didn't want to have to use this, but I had to use propane nightmare. <laughs> propane nightmare. What, 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 And they're like continuously stringing up and down this girl. It's like it makes this fight like even more horrifying. Sweet dreams, kids. Ow. Oh god, I thought I was gonna be like, oh shit, is that dead? <laughs> I just have Brown just sit there for, like, ever. He is of no use to this fight. He will do nothing. Alright, come on. Come on, now this boss fight has a lot of health. Nice, nice. We got quite a few hits in. All right, uh, use the shortbread. Nice. All right, now we're back at decent health. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, the problem with using the meat cleaver in this fight is that, like, it has, like, no range. So you have to be, like, up close and personal for it. But also, like, don't get into the vomit. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. Lollipop. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, but, like, don't get in the way of the vomit, because then it will, like, stun lock you like that. Yeah. Alright, that must have done like a really good hit on her. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Fuck. God, I hate that move, man. Alright, but like if we can get a hit on her, then we can like move on to the next phase. Come on. All right, she's going to vomit everywhere, I think. No? Okay. Woo. All right. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I believe. Oh, nice. Cool. We canceled that out. Good stuff. Good stuff. I just don't like this, like, girl's, like... Screams of pain. I don't like it. Ah! And they're not like monster screams either. They're like real human screams. Which is even worse. Because cause like when the fight started, it was like horrible, freaky, nightmare monster stuff. Like noises. If you remember. And like her eyes are cut out. But now it's like normal human noises. But I kind of think that's for the better. I don't know. I think I like the fight more. More that it's like a human. You know what I mean? Or you know it's more human. Than like it should. Than it has any right to be. Aha. Vomit. Perfect. 
I'm glad that I backed up away from that. Perfect. That is gross. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Nice, nice. Double stab, double stab. Always a good sign. That vomit. That's vomit. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. We did it. Let's go. Let's actually go, dude. We did it. And it just turns into a mermaid doll. What in blazes? What in the blazes? Who, who made this mess? Ah, nah, 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 here's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, all right now watch this. Look at his hands, dude. <laughs> no, this makes me uncomfortable, man. You were in charge after all. Yeah, so that Hoffman guy is a freak. He's a he's a creepy pervert weirdo. Obviously getting very handsy with Diana. Yeah. That's like Frollo levels of creep. Oh, now I see. It was you. It was you. It was your fault that I got into trouble. No. Give it here. Okay. Okay. Now it goes in the water. Oh my. And they're just I sitting there. Stay. It's filthy. Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. <laughs> Stain cleaner. <sighs> Just push her on the bed. I call 1 800 Steamer. Stanley Steamer is a certified cleaner. And now we're back in the room that we started with. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, that would freak me out. I thought that was going to like. What if that was the thing that crashed the game? God, imagine like the entire game worked up to this point and now it just crashes. Fuck, that would suck. But the paper is peeking out of its tummy. Oh, my tummy's all rumbly. I am yours even in death. And that's the last page of the book. The third book. I see the book. The Mermaid Princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but she was old and decrepit, all alone, still her death. Poor princess of the sea. I want an ugly old woman like her. I am yours even in death. Oh, and then I didn't see the back of the page. Or, well, I guess it's I am yours. Never forget it ever again. The promise. Everlasting true love, I am yours. Okay, so... We gotta jumble the puzzle together. And so the words actually say, I am yours, everlasting, true love. Or I am yours, comma, everlasting, true love. And bam, I figured it out. I solved it. I'm a genius. Crown me with your big brain, smart people crown. Now. I think we might be able to beat this, actually. 
this what we got a chapter let's see we got a chapter coming up it's not that it's not that long and another chapter and then the final ones hmm. although I'd say we're in, uh, extremely close Let's try. Let's like actually try and see like how far we can get. It. Oh no, I'm not supposed to be in here by myself. Uh oh, creepy man. It's um uh oh fuck, what's his name? It's not George. That's the guy with the hat who looks like he delivers newspapers. Or no, he looks like a chimney sweep. God, what's his name? June. June. The gingerbread house. The house of bread of ginger. Flop. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back in the real world, not the weird blimp fucking place. <laughs> the unlikely girl awoke. She was in a rose garden. A garden of roses? A rule of rose? The place was strange, but familiar. I don't have brown. Which sucks, so I had to figure this out myself. No one knows that her faithful companion was missing. The lonely, unlucky girl became very sad. I became very sad. Brown was basically like my guiding man. Is that a rule of rose reference? Yo, a rose! Is that a ruby reference? Ruby rose? Ooh. 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 <laughs> I was gonna be looking at roses and then just be like, yo, 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 was that a rule of rose reference? Gingerbread house. Wow, is this gonna be like that one game? Uh, well, well, I mean, I wish it was like an actual gingerbread house because there's a game on Steam. It's called Nevermind and it's about like uh, psychology. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, psychology and like going into the mind and uh and like figuring out uh a people's trauma because you're a therapist and you basically go into like the Assassin's Creed Animus, which is kind of cool. And like the first chapter of that is a uh uh, uh is like a story of like getting abused and uh but it's mixed with Hansel and Gretel. And so, like, you go into this gingerbread house death trap. And it's awesome. It's fucking rad, dude. The garden. Alright, I know that there's a weapon here. I want to find it. I want to find this weapon. I think it's like a shovel. Oh, a shovel. Perfect. I found a shovel. Perfect. Nah, but if it was like that, dude, I would love this. But, nah. There's not, like, any enemies here that I remember. But it's just good to pick up a shovel. Alright, now back, and then we enter through the side, I think. If not, then we gotta walk all the way back to the front. Which is okay. Alright, gingerbread house. It's a gingerbread house. It's my tomate. Just letting it all hang out. The gingerbread house. <laughs> I can just smack him with a shovel. Let's go in. Hello. I'm in the hallway. 
You have returned. Yes, I see that. Zach, you missed the horrible nightmares. Dude, you should have been here for the horrible nightmare things, man. It was awesome. But forget about a horrible nightmare. Is it's this guy. He's drunk. Hydrate? Well, luckily I just peed, so that's perfect. He's having trouble keeping it together, man. There was a tortured fish lady, fish children, child abuse. It was fun. Oh, I agree. It was so much fun. It's a large box. Smash it. Never mind. Look outside this window. Oh, no, I can climb outside. Oh, interesting. Onto the porch. Oh, and in here I can go. You're busy with work and you need to DM Ross, but oh nice, cool. Well well at least you uh you finished some work, so that's fine. The window the girl found herself in the room. Uh toys wait patiently for a master, even as they slowly decay. That does sound fun. Oh yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you also missed the part where like an old man was getting handsy with one of the girls. That was the best part. It was the best part because it made me feel uncomfortable. The old toy figure stares up at the sky. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. <laughs> Newspaper is on the floor. What is this? June 21st, 1929. Another unexplained disturbance. There's been another mysterious disappearance of, disappearance of a child recently. Following missing children reports on the 7th and 14th, police are now investigating this case as both a possible kidnap and a missing person. Local residents are advised to not allow children outside unsupervised or take caution around any suspicious individuals. Cool! So kidnapping! That's fun too! Nah, but yeah, like, the fish lady was literally just a girl, like, tied up with rope on a contraption and made to look like a mermaid, and that was a boss fight. It was rad. It was rad, but it was hard. Oh, yeah, and the girl was, like, still alive and, like, vomiting everywhere, and it did a lot of damage. It was awesome, though. I think all that was in there was that newspaper. I think that's all we needed. That scene? Hello? Okay. I'm still trying to remember this guy's name. I think his name's like Henry or it's like George or something like that. I don't know. E. It's in the E. 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 It's in the E. Oh boy, I'm in the lavatory. I gotta take a big old dump. I'm just gonna sleep in the bathtub. Dirty pool of water at the bottom of the tub looks like it's almost blood. That's right. We leave the seat down in this house. You gotta respect everyone. We don't leave it up. Oh yeah, I'm in the shitter. <laughs> I'm taking a big old dump. I'm making the big dumpy. Oh boy, another cutscene. Ah! And now he's asleep with his alcoholism. He had too much of the of the silly juice. Now he's passed out. Oh boy. I like how this is just more of like a storytelling chapter instead of like a instead of like a war or, or like a combat chapter. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Ronaldinho Soccer! Every time you think of Lavatory, you think of this one Mega Man level you played. Uh, where a level had Lavatory name instead of Laboratory. You can't get over that. Oh my god, yeah, which one was that? We, because I know what you're talking about. I, 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 Tuesday. I, I, I've seen a picture of it before. Wednesday, he shows the to oh, oh, oh shit. Thursday, oh, oh shit, he's telling a story. Mega Man X for the Game Boy Color? Friday, Wait, whoa, 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 hang on. Hang on, there was a Mega Man X game on, on Game Saturday, Boy Color? He buries the P oh, the Extreme the Games, that's P right. Is in the I ground. forgot those existed. And by Sunday, cool. It can't be found. Yeah, oh, dude, I forgot about those. Yeah. Good night. Alright. Alright, now let's hear what he says. dog walks the streets each day, collecting peas as he walks to and fro. Small peas, every which kind of pea. Come Monday, he finds a pea. Come Tuesday, he bags the pea. Come Wednesday, he shows the pea to his son. Come Thursday, the pea kicks and screams. Come Friday, he grinds up the pea. Come Saturday, he buries the pea outside. The pea is in the ground, and by Sunday, it can't be found. Good night, young pea. Good night, young pea. Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a little fucked. Peas as he walks to because he's talking about, like, this pea or whatever. And, and so it's like, all right, well, I find the pea. I nurture the pea. Come Tuesday, he bags the pea. Or like, or it's like multiple different things. Like, like it's implied that he like kidnaps kids, but also of like, like I don't know. Maybe he's just a simple pea farmer. Your home. Good night, Joshua. And he had a gun to his head, so he's suicidal. So that's even better. That's more fun. I don't know the the. No one's really sure on like what that guy's deal is with that story of the P and the fact that like, it, because that's a story he's reading to his son. And so the fact that he calls him, a a a little P, makes it even more disturbing when you think about it. All right, let's see. Newspaper clipping is pinned up, January or January June twenty third. Nineteen twenty nine. Luxury airship missing. England's largest luxury airship would just set sail on its virgin flight. A flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare. It was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It's speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid a low pressure system approaching from the south. But its whereabouts are still unknown. Due to the heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday, the search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Yeah, so uh so an airship crashed. One. Two there, you happy? I drank. There's a bear. Bear. Look under the blanket. Yeah, sure. What's underneath? A boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. For some reason, Jennifer felt the sudden pain in her chest. <laughs> no one will stop the hydrate train? I mean, I will. Perfect. I knocked it on the ground. I found a teddy bear. An adorable teddy bear with a green ribbon tied around its neck. Right then, the trapped, unlucky girl heard a gentle voice. Hello, who is it? I came just like I promised. Oh. Here, I'll help you. I will save you.
Wait, no, please don't. Well, time to stop the, uh... Well, time to stop the hydrate train by, uh... By, uh, by refusing to drink. Ah, shit. So I am trapped in this room until she decides to help me out. Bundle of letters were hidden under the bed sheets. November 10th. To Mr. Joshua, the bear in, dis the bear in distress. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down there? November 27th. From W to J. My prince in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish there was a world for just you and I. The prince and the princess. Don't worry, I'll set you free. January 9th from W to J. Oh, my poor kind prince. You're worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. I know where he hides that awful thing of his. Let's run away together. You leave it all to me. Everything will be all right. January 20th to my prince. Please don't worry. I'll do everything for you. Just pledge your love for me. That's all I ask. January 27th, WJ. Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night, I shall unlock your shackles. Let's live together forever. Everlasting, true love. I am yours. Yeah, so, like, the previous, like, little boy here. I was a son. His son was named Joshua. And so, and so Wendy here, who we've already met before, believe it or not. So Wendy knew Joshua, and she's like, hey, let me help you. And we could live together. Please, just, just love me. Because I love you, and whatever. And, and so Wendy helps Joshua out of there. And, and that horrible thing of his that she's talking about is his gun. Like, like obviously it's a gun because to a child, a gun is horrible and gross and disgusting and fucking dangerous. So they just run away together. Hello, Wendy. Run away before that man, before the man comes back. No, we should find that dangerous thing and take it with us for his own good. Yep. So I believe this is his study. Yes, he keeps his gun in his study. And, uh, and the man is very suicidal. I'm fine now. Let us go, shall we? And this man has been suicidal since the death of his son. Yeah. We're gonna un some stuff on the desk, including a picture frame. It's faded in spots, but the picture is of a happy family. Yep, so that's his son in the picture. Alright, so now we gotta leave. Now we leave the house before the man comes back. Don't worry, it gets more complex than that. Like, later on. Quick, we can leave. I'm no longer trapped! Hooray! I'm free from my shackles. Joshua. Joshua! I'm going to say just because just because I feel like God it's really hard to like talk about this game because like uh, uh it's all just like because the story isn't told in like a sequential order you kind of have to like figure it out which is what I like about the story a lot to be honest Jason 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 
Jason. No, but yeah, but like, but like the fact that like the story is like chopped up into these months and with these different events happening. Like, like it actually crafts a really good story, like not even gonna lie. It's a really good plot. It's just if you know what, like if you're following what's happening, then that's what makes it so good. But it's very confusing to other people. Dark Souls vibes? Ah, a little bit, yeah. Except a little less complex because this is only one game and there's not as much in this as there would be in Dark Souls. We can always be together. Hey, I have a favor I want to ask. Trade your teddy bear with my bro. Okay. I'm so happy to give him a name. Joshua. That's a wonderful name. I've cherished him as much as I cherish you. Let's renew our pact. Let us become anew. I am yours. My love. Ba -ba 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 Crazy chapter. What a good chapter. I, I I I always love in like horror games that like tell it or just games in general that tell a story to have like a chapter that's just story. Like to give you bits and pieces on some lore that's happening that the game hasn't filled into that point. Like it's beautiful. I love it. I love it to pieces. Now you're awake. You should go back and hang around with Amanda where you belong, you filthy peasant. You filthy whore. Like the yeah, is it? No. Mm. <laughs> did 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 you by? By that statement, did you finish zero, or are you just going off all the times that that I have mentioned a a like a chapter where people in Yakuza just talk and explain the plot? Because both are actually valid. Like I wouldn't be surprised. Rag Princess Sods. Swarp. Going off what I said. You know it, fair. This is an emergency. Joshua the bear is missing. Search teams are on the lookout. Person who finds him will receive a red crayon and will be invited to join the aristocrat club. Red crayon aristocrats. Oh boy. Brown! Sniff the bear! Sniff the scent of this bear. Find him. And I will take all the credit. I will be the god of this universe. Now come, Brown. Come, my boy. We shall go together. You and I. I and you. Hello. How does someone steal something so precious to the princess? Why? Boy, I wonder why. Oh boy, it's not like we're gonna find out. Bear, cl <laughs> bear clout. Is that where we're going with? All right. I'm sure Joshua will like the story I wrote for him. It's gonna be pretty good, quite right. Oh yeah. What's the story? The Rag Princess. Another story. So, what have we got? That's obviously a depiction of a man. 
Once upon a time, there was a girl who sewed rags, day in and day out. The stench of rags seeped through her clothes. Her stepsisters wore beautiful dresses and went to the ball. The girls stayed at home in her jealous vest. One day, a fairy godmother cast a spell upon the girl and said, Sew yourself an ash gray dress. Then you can go to the ball like your stepsisters. The girl patched together the sooty rags, so she became the rag princess. A very stinky princess indeed. She stunk up the whole town, in fact. Now the girl who stunk... So now the... No girl who stunk so would be allowed in the ball. I'll make that girl wear this awful dress myself. And thus the rag princess, girl in rag dress, a play pal. Bloop. Is this the Winnie the Pooh horror movie? No. No, this is actually good. Or at least it seems good. And not just like during to a weird audience who likes that kind of horror stuff. Like the banana splits. There's the rag princess. Obviously, it's supposed to be her. That's why she's so big and fat. Hello, Amanda. Did you ever finish that gift you wanted? Hi. Brown, let's get out of here. We don't need her. We don't need that girl in her. Don't suspect me of stealing it, do you? I know who really took Joshua the on Wendy. She's always sick in bed. Got to be her. Wendy, huh? The owner of Joshua the Bear? Kind of a... This is stupid. Yeah, this isn't too long of a... Oh. Well, this is a little bit long of a chat. Gotta go. Black, black. Oh wait, no. Uh, no. Uh, the sick bay is up here. That's right. Wendy? Yes, Wendy. I swear to God, if you make a Peter Pan reference, I make a fucking Peter Pan reference. So oh, help me, God! Do it. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Make a Peter Pan reference one goddamn time. <laughs> Don't you just love the Pulp Fiction reference? It's funny because it's topical. When you... Wendy's, uh, 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 who's, a uh, who... Who's Ligma Jobs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ligma... Ligma Jobs? God, that's gotta be my weakest one. Man, I'm really getting, uh... Really getting rusty on this, uh, on this humor. Gen Z humor. Oh, well, a dead girl! Wendy. The lonely princess pleaded tearfully. Oh, Diane, the others came to see me just a minute ago, and they accused me, saying I'm the one who took Joshua. Did they think that? Thank you for promising to take care of him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That, that fucking bear. 
I don't want to do it anymore. I don't like him. B -b Baka. What was that? You heard that too, right? Well, now where do I go? I go in here? Is there a save point in the salon? Is there an item manager? No, but there's a bird. Always let the Gen Z sound like something. Te technically speaking, what it if it were in Dragon Ball, would that be like Goten's generation? Or no, would it be Gohan's? No. Well, no, it'd probably be Gohan. Probably be his gen. Even though, like, we knew no other kids around that time, really. Technically, we knew Future Trunks, but he was bare. But he was barely born. Or no, no, no. He was barely born, like, years after Gohan was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, because Trunks would have been part of the the Goten era, I think. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I'm going too far into this Dragon Ball thing right now. Unfamiliar with this one? Holy shit! Well, look who it is. I have not seen your face in a good minute, my. My good sir, I have not seen that name in quite some time. It is uh, quite the surprise here. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I gotta... So I had to go and... Actually, yeah, let's go check on a... Uh... Uh, what's her face? Amanda, Amanda. It's the legend himself? I agree, it is. It is the legend. Back from the dead, it would seem. Well, it's the perfect time. You've come back. Ah, yes, it's Diane. Jennifer, do you know where Amanda went off to? Oh, well. I doubt you'll be much help, but run along and join the search for Joshua the Bear. Hurry up and go! I don't want to see you around here any Longer. Nah, but it's good that you're. I, 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 I think I've seen like you stream a couple times, or like at least the notifications. But you've always streamed when I'm like asleep or busy. But I know that you've been alive, uh, at the very least. <laughs> but you're unfamiliar with this one. This is a. Uh, this, my friend, is a. This is a $700 video game in my possession on official PS2 hardware. This is magic. And I am playing it for Halloween. It is a very, very good, but very messed up video game. I highly recommend... Uh, at least, like, watching a playthrough of it. Caught a few minutes of one stream, but was so tired you fell asleep. Nah, I... I, I oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. It, time zones are a bastard, man. Time zones are terrible. They do not help. The gluttonous prince said, Stick I was playing night with broke in half. I wonder where I could find a good stick around. Smack you in the face with a good stick. A shovel, even. My sword broke while we play knights in shining armor. You have a nice stick we could use, do you? Hmm. 
be trying to get more active with that. No set schedule yet, so you're all over the place. It does make sense. It does look extremely PS2. Oh, yeah. E extremely PS2 is an understatement, but yeah. This is like... I would say this is like Silent Hill 3 era of, uh, of, 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 of PS2 horror. If I were to, like, compare anything, because I think it was around the same time, if I remember. Oh, whoop. There. My bad, my bad. Empty, empty. Oh. Yeah, but, but, but nah, uh, yeah, th yeah, this Halloween's gonna be the, the Halloween of weirdos. And if you are interested, uh, I believe you are a fan of Deadly Premonition, if I remember correctly. Uh, you might be interested in that at some point. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, 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 I plan to play uh, the Switch version of that next, uh, once I finish this game. Actually, because someone got it for me as a gift. And so it would be rude not to play it, and I've kind of been waiting for October this entire time. You're a disgusting fan of Deadly Premonition? Well, I mean, fair. I am a disgusting fan of many series. And everyone here knows. Oh, fuck. I forgot I was supposed to... There's a thing next to Diane that I'm supposed to get that's going to help me search for items to advance through the plot. No, but yeah, but it's been fun. Uh... Aside from a few technical issues, uh, all we've really done is play this and uh, Haunting Ground, also on PS2. Which is a fun game. I bought that game for $300. Don't do what I do and buy very expensive video games for content. It, 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 it's not worth it. It is super not worth it. Something rolled out of there. But I can at least say now I am probably the richest person out of all of my friends. In real life, at least. Because I own literal fucking, like, platinum. See, it's a small fur ball, which belongs to a stuffed animal. Alright, brown. Search! Use it to find Amanda. Oh. do 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 couldn't eat couldn't even if you wanted to hella broke at this point if i enjoy it that's what matters i'm i mean i do and like and like to be fair there was a point where i would just buy like a bunch of video games that were like pricey i'd say and it kind of uh kind of made me a bit poor too but i'm slowly trying to recuperate a little bit but now my new obsession is amiibos which is not helping because well i mean it's not expensive but it but it adds up quite a bit because I don't just buy one. I buy like two at the very least. So it's uh, it's not good. Oh shit, she's dragging a corpse. Come on, Brown, we got to go after her. Come on, boy. What was it? The last video game I bought? I uh, so probably Lost Judgment, I think, is the last game that I actually bought. Bought. Ah, right. Oh shit, the lights are off. Fuck, we have to navigate this in the dark? Shit, that's not good. Oh god, that means we have to go all the way to sector one to go do the repairs, it, it doesn't it? Like turn the power back on? Oh god, this is gonna suck. I hate this already. Now oh, there's steam there. That doesn't lead anywhere. Um, ah. Where would I go? 
Yeah, because I have to go to Sector 1, right? Oh no, it's Sector 11. That's right, that's right. It's Engine 1, Sector 11. Oh, apparently there's a half biscuit? Ooh. Alright, let's see, yeah. Ah, oh, shit, I missed it. No, I missed the biscuit. I miss a bloody biscuit. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Uh, hello. Hello. Thank you. Oh, glass case key. Oh. You're not going to get in any super long games until Star Ocean comes out. You know what? Fair. Yeah. Uh. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, the next pretty long game, or at least I would say would be pretty long, is going to be near. I'm just going to play that, like, off, like, off camera. I was like, I don't... I don't know, I just feel comfortable, like streaming a game like near for some reason you know what i mean it just it just doesn't seem right so like i'm probably just gonna play that one on my own which is fine i have no problems with that then like aside from that like i don't have anything else that like i would really uh that I would really consider long, that I would consider starting. Like, let me look at my show. Uh, there is a game that I had to finish, but it's on my 3DS. That sucks. See this diary. Sunday, March 12th, or March 2nd. I don't know what's wrong with me. Was it something I did? Last month I failed. What will happen to me this month? Dr. Hoffman said that a new girl is coming soon. Will I even lose to her and be all miserable? I'm scared. I hate to think of what's in store for me. March 20th. Things are going wonderfully. Today they called me out to the backyard. As long as that girl is here, I won't ever be last. What a relief. April 4th. Maybe there is... There really is something wrong with me. What have I done wrong? I tattled on Mr. Hoffman as they told me to do, but I failed again. I'm still lower class even after that girl came. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. April 18th. I'm as happy as could be today. They showed me the symbol of the aristocrat. If I can get a red crayon, I too will be one of them. That girl will never get a crayon. She's far too uncouth. Any case, I'll never be last again. I'm sure of it. June 1st. No, 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 no. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. <laughs> Those awful things got in my mouth. I'll be sorry the next chance I get. But why me again? What have I done? June 27th. I hate her, 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 I hate her. Oh my, I've got a so thregs. August 31st. I hate her, 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 I hate her. Oh my, I've got to sew the rags. September 28th. I hate her, 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 I hate her. Oh, I've got to sew the rigs. October 5th. After all that time I spent sewing it. Basil, Fanny, George, Hector, Ida, Leo, Paul. Why must they always bother me so? Oh, woe is me. October 12th. Oh, why can't they just all go to hell? Basil, have a nap on the railroad tracks. Fanny, take a dive on the roof. George, I'll hang you upside down. Hector, get run over by a carriage. Ida, I have some fancy poison jam for you. Leo, walk across an open manhole. Paul, get smothered under a great rug. And lastly, that girl. The aristocrats will have their way with her. Oh, how very delightful life it is. October 19th. That wretched girl will do my dirty work and I'll work her to the bone. Oh, I feel wonderful today. I'm so worried. I just don't know what's going to happen. Bling. 
Stars. She's drawing more stars. Wings. Oh, she's flying. She's chasing something. It's like a cartoon. She's flying with the birds in the clouds. I don't know what that drawing is. It's way too small, but okay. She like falling? I'm just gonna assume she's falling and that's like an explosion. And she's like, boom, I I I I flew too hard to the sun. Alright. Alright, good job, Brown. I can drop this. It'll go back to the it'll go back to the thing. I could drop that for sure. I don't need that no more. I don't need the Mermaid Princess book either. What the hell do I still have that for? The Rag Princess, though. I do need that. Oh, I could drop the Meat Cleaver as well. I don't need that no more. Come here, Brown. Come here, Brown. Alright, let's, uh... All right, let's go continue maintenance. All right, so Amanda's a little, uh, a little messed up in the head, wouldn't you say? You know, uh, you know, you know, you know, I just got to ask her what's in your head, in your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Kind of fucky-wucky, dude. Kind of messed up. And the fact that she, like, wants to, like, or, like, is very, uh, is very hostile to some of the other children. And she's just like, dude, I wish they all just die and go to hell. Is that a pig? Is that a pig? Oh, my goodness. Uh. <laughs> no, Brown. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. I got to fight the pig. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, it didn't. Actually, didn't do shit to me. Oh, that's fucked. You can just see, like, the creases in the pig's legs. That's, that, that's disgusting. You know, maybe playing this game wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is the best idea ever. Piglet is pissed. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, double pig! Fuck, I should have just ran. And I ran. I ran so far away. I couldn't get away. Alright, Sector 11 maintenance. Come on, Brown. We can do this, buddy. We're in the maintenance. We just need to repair this thing. <laughs> Alright, I know it's one of these doors. I think it's this one? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Not, not, not the Kennedy thing, but the game freaking out actually scared me. Because I thought the game was going to like bug out.
Is there anything in this room? Is there a save point? I was like, you saw that, right? Like, well, like the game paused for a second. And then it's like, oh, here, um. Here, yeah, let's just take a second to reload. And then it loaded up the cutscene. Dude, I. Mm. Oh, I was so scared. I. Fuck. So if that's where the game ended, I I would have to redo all of this on an emulator. I would have to do the entire game again on an emulator just to get to this part. And this is like end of the game. That that's what sucks. Well, there's like two more chapters after this, I'd say. Crap, where'd he go? Yeah, where did he go? Ah, the pig! I'm getting out of here. And wait, that's... I was into here, smoking. Yeah. What am I supposed to be using to, like, follow this kid, though? Oh, I'm... Oh, I could have found two halves of a whole biscuit. Wait, hang on. I'm where, where in the hell do I go? Oh, I'm supposed to go in the second. Well. Go into sector 12. Second passenger hallway. Oh! <laughs> Ow. God, are they like munching at me? Mom Brown. Fun. Shit. Uh, door. I don't know. What? Door? Oh, good. Sector 12 maintenance. Alright. Dude, do, do those pig enemies are tough. Like, actually tough. Damn it. Freezing compartment. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be in here. Wait, what? Wait, wait, I'm confused. Oh, 
Wait, was I not supposed to go here? Wait. Oh shit, a scone. Well. Crap, where do I go? I might just eat a scone so that I can keep up on my health. Ah, bollocks. Wine storage. Alright, well, there was some good stuff in here when I came in here last time. Nothing this time. Damn. Yeah, I might just eat the scone. Because scones don't do anything for me. Perfect. Uh, I don't know this way. Crap. Jeez. Come on, Jennifer, get up. Get up, girl. <gasps> no, she's limping. Yeah, we use one of our lollipops. Why not? Uh, I don't know this way. Pantry. All right, what? All right, what's in here? What's in here? Go. Oh shit! There must be another side of this. Oh, there has to be. There has to be. If we go around here, up here, and then ha 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 ha. Perfect. Yes. All right. Cool. We found it. We found it. We found it. Oh, thank God. Oh, we, in we avoided as much conflict as humanly possible. Good, we found the generator lever. Lever. Now we can turn on the generator. Got a machinery. I think that's exactly what that is, Jennifer. Good observation. You're uh, you're 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 very astute, I would say. Ooh, good job, Jennifer. Much observed. All right, so we just need to go all the way back. This way. Shit, wait. No. No, it's the other way. The other way. Sorry. 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 Is there a thing in here? No, this is sector 12 maintenance again. God damn it. No, here. Come on, Jennifer. Sucks is like, I don't want to get hit by these pigs because they just ram into you so hard. Phrasing. <laughs> Wait, uh, is this the smoking room? The wheelhouse? I'm in the wheelhouse. Why would I even go near the wheelhouse, actually? I have no reason to. I need to find the... Oh my god, I need to find that... No, I think it's at the end. I, th I think it's at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
here, then I need to go through the smoking room. Then I can go through the, uh... Because it's not a good idea to go through the kitchen. Smoking room and then to the right or left, depending on what, on where the game starts our camera angle. It'd be stage right. It'd be stage right. Die, little gremlins. Ah! Get off! That's right. Perish, you... You little hellions. Come on, come on. Come on, Brown. Alright. Alright, cool. Sector 10, crew cabin. Should be the right area. Oh wait, shit, it's not, it's not, it's not. Wait, no, no, I was in the, I was in the right area. I just missed the door, I just missed the door. Oh, that was all I did, that was all I did. Because it was the room right next to the smoking room, obviously. Off, off, off. Off, off. Step off! Step off! God damn it, god damn it. Uh, here! Here! I found it! I found it! I did it! I found the room! I did it! Oh. <laughs> that is tense. That is super tense. Power lever's been snatched off. I have it right here. Ah, power lever. I assume you mean the power lever. In fact, I have one of them right here. Power level, power lever control. Yeah. We only had to heal once. That's that's good actually. Very good. Now the power is back on. Now we can use that elevator to go and find uh, uh Amanda went up. So now let's use this. Go and save. So that way we don't screw anything up again. Oh god, and now we gotta go all the way back to the other end of the thing? Ugh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so we're almost done. We're almost done with this. Or we should be. We should be. Yeah. I think there still be enemies, so that's going to be the only hard part about going through here. There should still be enemies. Unless it's just, like, the Luigi's Mansion blackout. Where, like, all the enemies just come up and they just ambush the fuck out of you. There's probably gonna be, like, enemies here. Huh. Nothing. Those chickens are up to something. I know it. I just like to imagine they just all hid in the walls. 
It's like, yes, yes, we're in the walls, Jennifer. Hang on, what the hell was that? Oh, that just looked like a symbol. I just looked like that alchemy symbol. I don't know why. It just does, or did. Phew! Okay. Now, I believe... I believe we gotta go to the middle. Oh, shiny. I found a half a biscuit. And I will use this to find the bear's tail. Go! Come on, brown. Okay, so like after a lot of time playing Roll of Rose here, I think the I, I think the consensus is that Huey is better because Huey can actually like help. Huey's the better companion, but Brown is like the better objective guy. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. The better objective -er 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 -er. Chalkboard with the Hoffman boss fight. I remember that. Ooh, that was out. That was a fun fight. That was a super fun fight. And then, yep, here it is. Perfect. Oh, no. Never mind. I don't need that. I just need to hit here. If not, the higher. Ooh, there is... Ooh, okay, alright. Cool, cool. Well, there is a save point here. Let's go in the middle. That does not mean good things, though. That means very, very, very bad things, actually. It makes me very scared. Ugh. Ooh. Eesh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. All right, then upper, I guess. I don't know. Was that a shiny that I just missed? Fuck. Uh, it's over, Amanda. I have the high ground. High ground! <sighs> and we're back up on the roof of this blimp again. Oh, I'm sorry. The Zeppelin... Except we're not on the roof of the Zeppelin. We're here in this cave. <laughs> she has a stick! I didn't do it! It was you. I'm taking a piss right here. I'm fine, really. I'm not upset at all. <laughs> nope. Oh, Jeff. You know what? I've got something special. Look, isn't he cute? Joshua. It's yours. Give Joshua it to the Jeff bear. You'll be missed. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, she's beating a doll. Yeah, that's what I figured. Beating it into the ground. Holy crap. That's metal. Metal fuck. Aw, oh, great, I fainted. Cool. Oh! I just got him back. Oh! Come on, dude. I, I literally just got Joshua back, man. Just had him. Oh, rip and freaking dip. Well, come on, Brown. Uh, I imagine it'd be the... I think now it's the middle, which is why there's a save point there. We're gonna have him... Yep, there he is. Aha. Alright, now let's save again. Okay, all right. People are back. All right. Yeah, I just saved, right? I'm going to save again. I was I I always always So now I just gotta follow him and then Brown. I'm gonna need you to be my eyes and ears, buddy. Because we're just gonna run through this. Cause, because I remember this part. I remember watching this part in the playthrough, and these guys, like, took forever on this section. You're finally here, Jennifer. Do you want the doll back? I'm rather fond of it. That is missing its tail. Take care of that. Crap. Oh shit, a fight. Oh fuck. No! No, I'm in an arena! Oh god damn it. I'm forced into a fight. Never mind. Alright. God damn it. Get off. Alright. Let's see. Uh, lollipop. Off. 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 Crap, is that dead? No, but I think we're near... Oh, no. Nice. One, two. Bam. All right. All right, that's part one done. Go, Brown. Go. Because I think it's just going to be like a battle gauntlet until we find this all which if which since it's a gauntlet I'm not a big fan of also is this where the fish lady was it looks eerily similar to it then again like half of these rooms look the same 
Does that mean I'm just a room racist? Am I racist against rooms? Nah, I can't be. Fuck me, I wasn't even having him find anything. He was just going around everywhere. I'm a fool. Alright, come on, Brown. Do it, buddy. Go! Brown, uh, where are you, buddy? Brown? Wait. Wait, where the hell's Brown? What? Alright, well, this way. Alright. Oh. Let's see. Holy shit! Yo! Yo, freaking Stu Kage, my man, with... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ten bits! Thank you, my guy! Oh my goodness! Dude, you didn't... I, I mean, I know that's like ten cents, because like every bit's a cent, but still, dude, dude, you didn't even have to do that. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Actually... Oh shit. Welcome, bro, bro. How's it going? Well, well, this is how it's going. Um, this is how it's going on my six or no, like $700 PS2 game. We're on an airship and we're fighting weird, creepy gremlin children. So yeah, and they're like latching onto us, and it and it hurts. But aside from that, uh, no, no I'm doing pretty all right. All right, cool. Uh, no, I'm still good on health. All right. No, but yeah, but but we're doing all right. Sounds like a great night. Oh, it is. No, like, this is a good game. It's just weird to play it. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a weird game. It, it's a very messed up game, but I'm... But I think we can, like, finish it tonight, if anything. Because, like, we only have, like, a couple chapters left of this game. So, if we're lucky... I might be able to do it all in one... Or, like, in the rest of the sitting. Which would be good for us. Then that means that uh, that I can advance through uh, more game. Or, or at least the next game. That, uh, that I had planned for the month. And then, I don't know, probably something else. If I can find it. But, fingers crossed... I also have to be up early in the morning, so I gotta make sure not to stay up too late. I have to take... Uh, yeah. I have to take someone at, like... I have to be at work at 10. I have to take my brother there much earlier than expected. Or, well, much earlier than... Uh, uh, than, than he needs to be there, which sucks. Uh, I'm, I am not a morning person at all, in the slightest. Come on, Brown. Dude, hurry it up. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, he's limp. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why he's so slow. Dude, I didn't even realize. Brown, I am so sorry. 
I am super duper sorry, Brown. I did not even realize. Oh, God. And here we go. One more. I think this might put us close to death, I would say. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll use half a biscuit. Crap. Yeah, we'll just use the lollipop to heal up. So I wish I had more items. Uh, and then what? We could use the drumstick for brown? Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me... Yeah. Oh, cool. Ah. Christ, this pig, dude. Fucking pig, man. Come on. Come on, Brown. Come on, Brown. We can do this. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, God. All I have left is a white chocolate. Crap. I have no more healing after this. Fuck. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Uh, Potter check. All right. Hang on. Brown! No! No, Brown's down! Oh, that's not good. That is not good. This is not good in the slightest. Uh, I don't know. See, like, I don't want to use this if that... If it heals me. Right, go, 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 go. Mash, mash, mash. Bash. Yes. Oh, thank God. I beat it. Kitchen knife. Cool. Well, that's not going to do anything. All right. Hang on. What does the drumstick do? Is the drumstick for brown? Drumstick. Because if that's for brown. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, now Brown is back up to full health, apparently. That's great. Alright. Come on, buddy. We can do this. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hydrate. Uh, let's see. Got a crash, though. Uh, sorry we're live. Want to say what's up? Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you for the... Thank you for the bits again, man. Like, like I do appreciate. Also, Albert Wesker 2022. <laughs> Excuse me? All right. Hi from Mexico. Hello. Welcome, welcome. You are, uh, you are in the midst of a very weird game. Uh, amigo? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Am I playing blind? No. No, no, I... No, I've seen a playthrough of this before. I've just never played the game myself. Mi amigo? Okay, all right, cool. I've lived in Texas more than all of my life, and I still don't know a damn thing about Spanish. So, like, I don't know, that... Well, one, no. Alright, maybe now we can go in the lower. You know the game, so if you want tips or help, you can tell me. Oh, well, uh, well, we seem to be fine, uh, right now. 
Um, but, I mean, if there's anything that you notice that I could do a little bit better to help improve, then, uh, then by all means, like, 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 I can appreciate, like, any advice possible. I have no healing items, though, which sucks. Because I just used the last of my healing. So, I don't know if I should use brown to find some while I have the chance. Or if I should, uh, if I should just... I should what? So come back? What? Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? So come back? In the second floor, there are chocolates. Ooh, really? Wait, wait. Oh, so like where I just what? Crap, does that mean I have to fight or that I have to fight more enemies? Because if that's so, that sucks. Do I have ribbon or marbles? Uh no. Ooh, I probably should have just had a ribbon or a marble. Uh oh, is there a bucket here? I can get them. Uh, well, I think the only thing I have left is a uh, is a sock. Hang on, but where's the bucket? Because this is a completely different section. Because I just went through like the gauntlet of enemies, and I'm trying to search for the bear. Right now. Because I know that there was a room exactly like this that had a bucket night there for me to save at. I can open the map? Okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, let me open up the map. The thing about the map is that it doesn't tell me where my bucket nights are. I'm all the way at... God, I'm all the way at section 13. Oh, I need to go to the other lift? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I need that. Because, uh... Second floor. Right. Yeah, I remember. But that doesn't seem, uh, accessible to me. Uh... If I go back through those areas, do I have to fight enemies again? Or am I good? Because if I had to fight a bunch of enemies again, I don't want to do that. That would suck. And I already struggled enough. No enemies anymore? Alright, perfect. Alright, so now we can grind up items for the end of the game. Or we'll get some extra help. For the end, so that's good. Go stairway D. Alright, so now I just need to find my way back. It's gonna be fun. Open the map. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, so right there where it says uh where it says the sector lift right there in the middle. I just need to go there. Oh, well that's fine. Yeah, I can go ahead and do that. And then I know that I have the scissors. So I can go and um uh I can use that to like find a ribbon and I guess the ribbon finds chocolate. Or I think a marble can also find chocolate, I guess, by what you're assuming. Although I need to check my uh my stock. Get the ribbon and the marble. Well, I don't have either, actually. I deposited all my ribbons and marbles uh earlier in the game, so now I don't have any. So I need to go find some. That's my only problem. That's kind of the issue that I'm running into. Like, all I have left for a search item is socks. So I have to get the rusty scissors to find a ribbon. And then I think I just have to, like, do a chain of stuff. Like, like use the sock to find... No, the sock finds a marble, I think. Either sock finds a marble or a clothespin. I, I know it's one of the two. I, 
I know it's one of them. All right, let's see. Where am I at now? Uh, down, down. I need chocolate later because I will need food. Right. Because I think since we're so close to the game, uh, or, or we're the end of the game, I don't think there's going to be another, like, trade point after, uh, after a certain extent. So I think it's best to stock up now. Let's see, because I remember this, and then I think it's, uh, we go to the orphanage? I believe the because I believe the final level's in the orphanage, right? I think that's the final thing, and then we have to fight uh, Stray Dog. And then once we fight Stray Dog, game's over. I could be wrong, and I'm missing a step in there, but that sounds correct from what I remember. I don't know. It was like two years ago when I went when I last watched this playthrough. The only thing I wish is that Jennifer would run faster. That would make this a hell of a lot easier. The slowest thing imaginable. She's the slowest thing alive. Alright, let's see. Where am I at? Oh, crap. I missed. Wait, hang on. I missed it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, I no, I had to turn here. I had to turn here. And then go across these boards. Perfect, per perfect. Like across boards like that, like it's fine if she walks slow, but everything else, uh she was just a little bit faster. Yep, and then here's the bucket knight. Bucket knight and the trash bin will be over this way. Ooh. Oh, I'm just so relieved that I got it. And I was able to pass through that section. That section is rough. Alright, so. So, let's move around our inventory here a sec. No, no, key, no. Etc. Alright, so I need the rusty scissors to find a ribbon. I know I don't have one of those. I have two socks. I think a clothespin can find marble. I just need to find one of each, I guess. Brown. All right, well, can you find a clothespin? If not, we may just have to go back down. All right, I think we may have to go back down into the main section of the area, and then uh, and then find some stuff there, because I think that's our only other option, which is fine. But if we're gonna need health items, then it might be a good idea. It would definitely be a good idea. I'm going to save with the Bucket Knight. I'm going to go to the lower level. Come on, Brown. So this is the first set of lifts. So now I can search around at my leisure. Perfect. Good job, Brown. Come on. Come on, if I can find a clothespin and not a scone, I will be happy, because scones suck. That is a scone. God. Alright. Scones can find clothespins. Crap. Oh god, am I screwed? Am I screwed if I can't find any of them? I think I need to go back. I 
Okay, I think I need to go back this way. Oh crap, did I not go back there? Oh, I'm screwed. I think I screwed myself over. Oh my god, I'm locked out. Oh no. That's not good. I should have just been trying to find items and... Oh no. Second floor, there are marbles. Well, I have nothing to find marbles. I have nothing to find a marble with. Because everything that, like, Brown tries to search for, he's like, well, no, I can't find it. Oh, go further? Okay. I don't know if it was, like, one of those things where, like, Brown just, like, automatically knows. Wait, no. No, I meant to save. I meant to save. Uh, let's see. I should probably manage my inventory a little bit. Because, just, just in case I need something... Or, like, enough room for specific stuff. Brown, Brown just has to find items in the actual area. Oh. I see. We need the Rag Princess thing. Uh. Now I'm going to keep all this stuff on hand. And if I need to go back, then I will go back. Oh, what's this? Oh shit, a lollipop. Uh oh, I just found that all on my own. No thanks to Brown here. Let's see, is there anything else on these other ends? No. Oh, that would have been a little useful, actually. No, okay. Find more, you need to go than. Got it, yeah. Cool. Oh, right, because it's separated by loading zones, so each loading zone has its own thing. The individual floor as a whole being... Okay, all right. All right, no, that's a no on a scone or a clothespin. Let's see. All right, no, that's a no on the scone. Uh, ribbon, I don't know, is there a ribbon here? I'm fine with half a biscuit. Oh, well, come on, Brown. So I guess I could just like go to the dead ends of this a or of this area and just like find what I could find there. I guess. Right. I mean, I assume that's what I'm supposed to do. Or unless I'm supposed to go into the area after this one. And then there's more stuff I can find there. Or unless this is just the area that you mean in general. I have no clue. Let's see. No. No shiny. Camera angle, that's not good. Nope. That was a waste. Alright. Jesus Christ. Okay, alright. Well, uh, alright, well, if we're gonna go item hunting, then, uh, then we will just have to end it at the next chapter. Or, well, at the beginning of the next chapter, I guess, because we'll just spend the rest of our time doing that, and I want to try and get to bed a little bit early, so I can wake up early.
that's okay, because we can still have some time for Deadly Premonition if we finish this fast enough. We just need to make sure that we have all the items that we need. But I do appreciate your help so far. Uh, I guess I'll just call you a Wesker. Because why not? Like, the fact that there is stuff here is actually very useful. It'd be great if it's like Pokemon, where like you just find items just automatically. Like, if they're just hidden, like, and you just trigger a random spot, like, you can just find it without Brown's assistance. And it's like, aha, you found, um, uh, you found a marble. You found, uh, uh, the, the, the ribbon. You found a rusty shiv. I don't know. I don't know. I think that'd be a neat idea for, uh, for, for a horror game with an exploration aspect like this. Or at least a system where you can use a dog or a character to find items. Yeah, I believe this was a dead end. Yes, and there is nothing there. Crap. Hey, let's see. This is not good. The fact that I like missed a lot of this. So I love how like Jennifer's model like doesn't even freaking like flinch at the sight of a ledge. All right, let's see if this works here. Let's see if anything works at at this area. No, that's the biscuit, the ribbon. No. Let's go in her clothespin. Preferably a clothespin, please. No. Alright, we gotta use the scone. And let the white back. Alright. Alright, it's okay, Brown, it's okay. I think this is a normal way. Yeah. It's a normal way. So I just got to check all the dead ends. Which is what I'm going to be doing. Am I skilly with the fighting? Mm, not entirely. The hitboxes and the way that the fight and the combat works in this game is kind of odd. Um... I wish I could have gotten uh, the items to get stuff like the revolver, or well, the magnum and the uh, and the uh, the the sword by collecting the different knives, but I did not do that. Or I didn't get all of them. I got some, but not all, which sucks. So a lot of this is just gonna have to rely on luck, on a mostly luck. Because I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Since I don't... Or well, since Brown hasn't triggered anything yet, and I haven't found anything besides that lollipop, I don't think I can find any more items here. Oh, wait. Hang on. What's this? Wait, I don't remember this way. Oh, hey. Just a place of dead ends. Cool. No. No. Oh, rip. Oh, uh, we should get the axe in the next... Because I know that we get an axe, and I believe that's in the next chapter? Which... Which, the axe is a powerful weapon. And, like, the next boss isn't hard. Well, I mean, the next boss is the final boss. But to beat Stray Dog, it's not even hard. Because, like, you can do that in, like, ten seconds. 
for all I or I think you should. Cause I believe you get the item you need to defeat him in the in the respective chapter. So what and so like if I could just make it to there and defeat him the easy way to get the true ending, then yeah. Then I will be just fine. But everything else up to that point is going to be a little bit tough in the fighting department, at least. But if, but if we just have to make do with what we have to make do, uh, uh, I'm going to try to to do what I can. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to sure as hell try. Alright, brown. You find anything. If you can find at least like one other thing, I will be happy. I really should have kept a lot of my stuff or found some stuff in previous chapters. I didn't think I'd struggle this hard. Alright, it's okay, Brown. It's okay. I'm gonna keep that on standby then. Not good. Considering my luck, uh, even worse. But like the only time that I really died, uh, well, I mean, well, well, no, I've died twice, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've only died twice. That was two, uh... Or no, three times. Three times, technically. Because I died to... Uh, the... Uh, the goat twins. I died to them. Once, and then I beat them again. Uh, I died to the fish before the mermaid boss. And then I died to that again because I wanted to, like, reset from my last save, which was in the save right before, and then I went to go fight the mermaid boss, and then and then just murder her. A lot of my, like, skill with fighting is me just running away. I, 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 I inherited the ancient Joestar technique of running away like a coward. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. But if you have any other, like, tips before I head off to the next area, then I will take whatever I can get, man. If not, then we'll just have to rely on luck. Oh, wait. Hang on. What's on the upper floor of this place? If there's anything up top... Oh, I can go ahead and grab that. I doubt there'd be much of anything, but it's worth a shot. gonna be the thing where it's like oh no I can't because it's too windy yep or well close enough it's closed all right you hope in this part as you remember uh, this is the last airship part okay all right awesome thank you I will take whatever help I can get down oh all right all right come on come on if we can do this and get to the next chapter we should be in the clear Go! should wait hang on brown hang on brown what if there's stuff over here Worth a shot. Just checking. Oh, storage. Alright, maybe the other side then. Alright, perhaps there might be... Ac 
All right, perhaps there might be stuff in here. Well, in the storage, I mean, unless the other side's blocked off as well. But it's worth a shot checking. Because Brown wants me to go the other way. So I'm having him find... All right. All right, Brown, use your nose, buddy. If you can find anything, you can find just something. Even half a biscuit. All right, buddy. It was a good effort, though. It was, uh, it was a very valiant and good effort. Let's just go back and have this be the find. I'm going to say the lollipop for last, because that's going to be the big deal. That's like the last big effort. I'm going to do the half a biscuit first, and then the scone. Those are the two weaker ones. Okay. Let's do it. Go into any of these rooms for a last second, like, check. I remember that this is the pantry. Actually, what if here on the ship he's able to find more stuff? Uh, no. Come on, Brown. Help me out here, buddy. You've helped me out before. Close pin. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we can save this if we're able to find just a single marble. Because then it... Yes, it'll take longer. But we can do it. Look at that. Okay, and so you said the second floor I can use the marble to find stuff with brown? I can find white chocolate with marble. Awesome. I saved the run. I did it. Thank you for telling me that marbles and stuff can find white chocolate. So I'm going to go back up to the second floor, and we're going to do one sweep of the entire area. Like, three chocolates in the second floor. Perfect. And then I will just search the rest of the area for items. Okay, Bren. But I will take whatever chocolates I can get, because I think that might be the best healing item for, uh... For Jennifer here, just the, uh, the white chocolate. I completely passed the elevator. It was, like, literally right there. But if I can have three of those, that's pretty good. If I can find anything else in here, like, maybe the only other thing that I don't need necessarily is white, or no, drumsticks. But if I can find any other healing item, then, then, then we're gold. We're gold, baby. We're gold. All right, Brown, go ahead and find this stuff. That's another marble. Awesome. Yeah, use the marble to find the marble. I used the stones to destroy the stones. Sock, all right. Not bad. All right. 
All right, next area, buddy. Come on. All right, central stairway D. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Brown, my boy, my son. I am glad that you have finally decided to cooperate with me. And of course, they'd all be on dead end. White chocolate, perfect. Our, our, our roulette's one. Oh my god, we found another item. A marble. Cool. Alright, Brown. Lead the way. Inventory full. Fuck. Wait. Wait, no, that would be a shortbread. Um. Well, I mean, I don't need this, so I can just drop it. It'll go into the box, so that's fine. I will definitely take a shortbread. Because a shortbread's a healing item. I will take as much heals I need, to be honest. Or as much good heals as I need. Because, like, candy's bad. Biscuits are now bad. Half of biscuits are awful. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's like shortbread and... Um, Shortbread, white chocolate, and, uh, oh my god, there's one other one that I consider, like, really good. These scones are bad, but they're good for, like, in a pinch, and you get so many of them. I'm gonna assume this is a marble. Shortbread, nice, ooh. Another shortbread. Cool. Alright. Alright, well none in that. Or well none left in this, so we gotta go to the next area and find the rest of these items. And then we don't need to worry about saving. Uh like we did before, because uh at least I don't uh, we should save anyways, just in case. Because you never know. Come on, Brown. Oh. Aha. I just need to hit that button again. That's a marble, I think. Yep, that's a marble. Cool. Lead the way. Dude, this is fun. I, I I, really should have been, like, searching for items more often. Because now, like, I regret not finding a lot of them. Just for, like, convenience sake, really. I'm also really upset that I don't get, like, the cool weapons for, like, end of the game. There was like a knight's rapier and uh and a magnum is uh, is what I get. And then I think it's like I can also get like a stick. All right, cool, white chocolate. That's okay, buddy. Come on, Brown. Good boy. Good job. Okay, that's okay. Open the map, please. Got it. Uh, what's up? Uh, what you need to look at? What you need to look at? On the map here. I'm right there in the red. Yeah, I'm like right here. Oh, you left? Oh. Oh, might be, might be. I just found a second white chocolate, so that's what I'm kind of doing right now. I'm kind of just going back to this first area be or just kind of like just triggering it whenever. Uh, like Brown's find command, just whenever. Aha! Perfect. 
Nah, but yeah, we've just been kind of like scouring for items. I got a bunch of shortbreads, got a couple white chocolates, marbles. Uh, I think I got a sock as well. Just all kinds of things. Tell me where two chocolates are. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Zoom far. Alright. Alright, well, this is the map zoomed out. I would assume one's at, up at the very top. Like at the very top of the map on the... On the left? Okay. Or just go left? Got it. I mean, like, I'll just keep going until, like, Brown wants to find something. Uh, where would, wor where, uh, World Central is? Oh, oh, where the word central is. Oh, 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 like central stairway. Oh, right there. Okay, all right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I have a good idea of what you're talking about. Thank you. Thank you. We're working together through this, and we're doing a good job. Come on, Brown. Or unless you mean, like, central lift. Or no. No, it's sector lift. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, you are correct. There's two. Oh, interesting. All right. Wait, so by the end of it, I'd have like four of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a white chocolate right there. Holy shit! That's awesome! That's amazing! Yeah, because I have four, and I found them all in here. That's best. I wonder what I can find with a candy. Oh, wait. And is that it? Like based off of memory, or is there anything or is there anything more? I currently have four white chocolate. I already had two. And there were two. I think Brown might have all of what he what he could find. That is it? Alright, cool. Alright, so now we just have to make the long trip all the way back. Uh, hey, Brown. Come on, Brown. And then we can search, uh... Or, well, or we're not up. It's technically down. There are more normal chocolates, but I don't have ribbon. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Oh, I didn't even know that the game had normal chocolate. Okay. Wow, that uh, well, that surprised me. Cool. Oh, and our, and I guess normal chocolates can only be found by ribbons, I assume. All right, right on. Good stuff. Well, well, I mean, even if we don't have the normal chocolates, we have a bunch of shortbread and a bunch of white chocolates, so that's good enough for me. I, I'm, I mean, if it weren't for you, like, telling me that, that there were these items here, I mean, I never would have searched for them, and I just would have been, I just would have said YOLO. They like, screw it, let's go. So, so, like, honest to God, I do appreciate your help here. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, and then I'll see what else I can find 
before accessing the final part of this chapter. A long time ago, you researched this game and you still have maps uh, with all items in the game. Really? Wow, you really went deep, deep into this game. Okay, that is impressive. I, I am very impressed. Dang. God, not even I... The, the last time I pulled out a map for, like, anything and, like, heavily researched where everything was... Was uh was when I played the first Zelda on NES, and I literally like printed out a map and and it was all like uh coordinated by grids, and so like I searched around and like uh I put a thing was I don't have that map anymore unfortunately but you know it's there or well or I mean it it existed. God, not even, like, my favorite games I know where everything's at. Then again, I, I just don't have the time to remember these things or, like, even write them down. I kind of just let the internet do everything for me. Unless I, like, remember certain things by heart. And then I'll just roll with that. But it's all up to, like, what I want to do at the end of the day. For you, this is the best survival game. The only game almost as good as this is Silent Hill 2. Ooh, okay. I, I, actually, believe it or not, I would say Silent Hill 2 is my favorite, uh, my, my favorite horror game. And this is, like, pretty high up there on the list. I don't know where I'd place it in, like, my ranking of various horror games. I don't know. I need to think about that. But just in a general sense, like, like this is at least top five. Maybe top three? It's either top five or top three. I, 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 I honestly don't know. The story is heavy, but very deep. Oh, I agree. It, there's a reason that it didn't have much of a print release. And, uh... And it's been banned in, I believe it's Australia banned. Come on, Brown. No, but I really love, like, the story. Like, the story is probably my, like, favorite part of this game. Just, like, in general. Because of, like, it's theming. I'm, like, a sucker for themes. And, like, really heavy subject matter. It, in a good way. If, like, a story can't, like, deal with the heavy subject or, like, execute it well, I will, I, I will definitely knock it down a few points. But, but this does it just right. And the fact that it's not even, like, linear storytelling makes me appreciate it even more. Because since it isn't linear storytelling, uh, uh, it's able to do different things with different events across the timeline. Just gonna find marbles for me, dude. I don't know what I find with a marble. Can I find some more shortbread? Ooh, what if I can find some more shortbread? Ooh, in the pan Ooh, in the other side of the pantry. Okay, okay. My guess is gonna be another marble. Ooh, look at that. If I can. If I can go to the smoker room, uh, I can get another white chocolate. Ooh. That shouldn't be too far from here, right? Yeah, because the smoking room is, like, right across from the kitchen. Yeah, I think I can get there. 
Hang on, Brown. Come here. There might be something in the kitchen as well. Always doesn't hurt the check. Come on. No? Or nothing in the kitchen. Alright, well that sucks. That's fine. But the smoking room should be right over here. Oh. Oh, I think he's going to it. Yeah, he's going to the smoking room. And there's white chocolate. Perfect. What can I find with this candy? Like, what kind of items can I find with this? Now I have to know. And this is the rest of the stream, so you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm having a ball with this like search. Oh, this is the. Uh, oh, the perfumes. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know. Huh. Alright, that's a marble. Cool. Just when I wanted another marble. I almost have enough for an item, but I can't go back to the box. I I don't think I can. I just need one more marble and then like I'm able to submit it for an item, but I don't think I can go back to the item. Or or well to the item box. I don't think so. Unless I can. Because here's an item box in here in the sewer treat sewer sewage treatment room. It's another marble. Awesome. I think that's twelve. I need twelve to get uh oh no, that's thirteen. There's always twelve to get an item. And I forget, does the perfumes get you the uh the magnum? Am I correct in saying that? Finding all the perfumes, you get the, you get the secret key. With the secret key, you can get to the secret room, and there, there is the gun. Okay, all right. Because I know that you get a gun, and there. I don't know. And I think it's too late for me to find the perfumes, because I think once I reach a certain point, it's gonna like play a cutscene, and then it's gonna be like, all right, well, good luck. You find any? Oh no, I found another candy. Go! Watch me just like able to find everything now. Like just watch me able to find the the perfumes and the secret room before the chapter ends. I I, I know that's not, but just imagine how funny that would be. I'm like yes, finally, I can shoot Joshua in the face. Find, like, a reason to shoot a teenager in the face. Find storage. Ooh, it's candy. It's candy. And another marble. It's candy. Another marble, I think. Oh, no, that's candy. God, how much candy do I have? That's four pieces and 14 marbles. <laughs> That's 15 marbles. Jesus. Oh, God. Dude, there is a lot in here. What in the hell? Alright, well, that's it for the candy. Uh... I can get to the leaf door zone. There's another white chocolate. Wait. Wait. Oh wait, what's the leaf door zone? I'm, I'm not I'm not familiar with that one. Ooh, a clothespin. Nice. Yeah, clothespins used to find candy, marble, or drumstick. 
Might as well try and find as many items as I can. Wait. Oh. Oh, the leaf doors. Um, no, because that's blocked off, right? Those stairs are, are blocked, I believe. And they've been blocked off uh, this entire chapter. The area with the one, two, and three leaf door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember what you're talking about now, yeah. But I don't think I can go there anymore. Oh, there's a scone. Useless. I mean, not really useless. I just don't want a scone. I don't like the scone. Because I think it's on the other side. Not... Yeah, because I think if I go through sector 11... I can, like, let me open up the map. Because it would be the third passenger corridor but that area is blocked or will the or will the clover rooms are uh are blocked off i know that because there's a web unless there's like a way from upstairs that i just don't know about And crew cabin. Oh yeah. God, I just left this. Unless now it's like unblocked for some reason because like all the webs and stuff aside from like outside seem to be blocked or seem to be gone. I think there were like a few in here. It's open. Aha. Come on, Brown. Come on, buddy. Let's find that chocolate. Go. go. Just go for it. And there's a white chocolate. Awesome. All right, let's see. Uh, any more that you can think of that I might have access to? Or no? Because if not, then that's okay. Because, what, that's six white chocolates I have now? That's six white chocolates, four shortbreads, four pieces of candy, two half biscuits. Uh, hmm. You think it's done? All right. Like, where were the other ones? The film. Wait, wait, there's bacon? Huh? I didn't even know that there was bacon. Okay. I could probably do this on, like, a New Game Plus playthrough if I ever want to do that. Oh, I could have found the, I could have found some of the perfume as early as the Sir Peter chapter. Interesting. Huh. Man, I could have had all the, all the stuff by the Rag Princess. Now I need to go to the offering door. Give the marbles and just keep one? Well, I mean, I'll just give until it gives me an item. Wait. Wait, why would I keep a marble? Because, like, I can't... Uh, because... I... Or wait, does Brown stay with you in the next chapter? Or am I wrong? I don't think he does. I 
in the chapter there are more oh oh you mean the next chapter got it could i try to find a ribbon or is it not worth eh. ah ah oh, we should be fine oh yeah we're all good okay you yeah, know we don't need any more chocolate especially if we're gonna get more Turbine. For some reason, I thought that, like, brown leaves you after this. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just crazy? But anyway, we're going to the offering box. Come here. We still don't have Joshua, so we're fine. Huh. Alright. God, this has been quite the surge. I'm very happy with the progress that we've made. In those areas, there are several ribbons. Did I did I find it all? Wait. Wait, you mean in the areas behind me? Uh, no, I did not. I did not check for ribbons. No. No, I didn't. No, I don't want to check the box. I wanted to make an offer. Eleven more for an item. Sector eight and sector nine. Okay, all right. Well, if I want to find a ribbon, I don't think I have the item to find a ribbon. Right. Uh, right now, at least. Is there a box nearby? Or is there like a trash bin? Because I don't want to go all the way back, to be honest. Or, no, duh. Well, I mean, I guess the closest would be the, uh, the, the generator room. That's also a little far, to be honest. Uh, yeah, screw it. Yeah, let's go do it. We're gonna do it after I turn in, uh, my marbles. Oh, in oh, in sector eight where I'm at. Oh, it might be in the salon where the uh, where the bird chapter was. All right, that's nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Oh, the filth room. Oh. Oh, I can go back into the filth room. Okay. Well, sure, Brett. Nice. Do not pick up that yet. I am not picking up that Joshua just yet. Because I, because I fear that's going to trigger a cutscene if I do. Okay, so yeah. So I can just go down here. Find a save box. I can grab the scissors. I can take out a couple items that I don't need. Now let's see. You said, oh, oh boy, oh boy, should I even go back for those other normal chocolates? Uh, back in the uh, 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 back in the lift area, up all the way back in sector thirteen. God, would it even be worth to go back there, or would it just be worth to just at least keep like a couple, or like to at least keep some ribbons for like items, and then uh, save it, and like save one for the next chapter. Because it is normal chocolate as opposed to white chocolate. I found a lollipop. Awesome. Glad that I came back in here. Hell yeah. Hello, Mr. Bucket Knight. Hello, Mr. Rubbish Bin. 
No, but in the next chapter there are more chalk. Okay, got it. All right, I will put away the clothespin. Uh, I will put away the socks. Keep the rag princess. I'm gonna keep. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep the candy away. And then I'm going to keep the marbles, because I don't think I can organize my stuff after this. Uh, let's see. Rusty scissors. I'm just going to find a couple of ribbons. Oh, and... Oh, and near the sewing machine is a normal chocolate? Awesome. Good to know. Thank you. All right, Brown, find me a ribbon. Find me a ribbon. So is it going to be like the same idea of what we were doing with the marbles of just like using the ribbon to find stuff and just and just collecting a bunch of them to uh to submit but keep one at least. So that way we can search for the chocolate. Is that uh is that, is that kind of the idea that we're going with here? All right, well, there's a ribbon. Yeah. All right, outside. Perfect. Oh, no, just find one ribbon, go to the sewing machine room, and get the chocolate, and go further. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, there's the ribbon. Sounds good. I honestly would have, like, no problems either or, to be honest. Ding. Come on, ribbon. Rule of rose, more like rule of ribbons. <laughs> but uh, you get it because the, the because there's the the because it's the rule of because it's like the name of the game. <laughs> All right, Brown, show me the money. Chocolate. Normal chocolate. Anything else in here? Alright. Got the chocolate. So, now I can drop the scissors. So now I can drop the scissors. I have one inventory spot exactly for Joshua. All right. Uh, no, because then once I get the bear. Oh, the story I can. Oh, oh, I can drop the story. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought we needed the last page, and so the book needs to be in the inventory. Because we never found the last page of the book, which is how the rest of the game has been going. I thought you like needed in your inventory in order to like progress. If you say so, then, like, like I trust you more than myself, to be honest, because you have been a very reliable source. All right, cool. All right, and then let's pick up Joshua here. Let's just make Brown feel special. Find the bear. 
Come on, Brown. Find the bear. There you go. Now you feel special. Boom. Find a beat up teddy bear that's missing its tail. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Oh. I'm going to tell the others. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, chapter done. Yeah, I say it, uh, that this was a rousing success. A bunch of cool items that, that we could use. And then, yeah, we still got plenty of marbles and ribbons. Nice. And then let's make an offering of Joshua. Sorry, no filthy curs allowed. Disgusting. All right. Do I get, like, the highest respect because I found the most valuable item to the princess? I'm just kidding. I don't. Come here, Jennifer. Let's have a little talk. Okay. I would love the talk. I love the talk. I, I don't know how to shut up. I love to talk. She's not. Bullshit, I did. I did not steal nothing. I brought it back, though. That's all that matters, doesn't it? Gentlemen, welcome to the Aristocrat Club. Aristocrat? Jennifer has brought a wonderful gift to the Aristocrat Club. And now she is the rightful ruler. You can have your very own red crayon. I did it. <laughs> I'm finally one of the gang. Now I can do horrible things. Now let's murder somebody. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're just the normal limbs, so it's not bad. Lots of bread. Pray you'll just hold you. Oh no. Jennifer. And then this is the moment where Jennifer awakens to her Saiyan abilities and is able to repel all these imps. Right as she is sucked into the abyss, she awakens to Super Saiyan and then Ultra Instinct in the same transformation. <laughs> Jennifer just gets real pissed. I won't let you destroy my blimp! <laughs> November 1930 the funeral so now we're back at the beginning I believe technically because because that's the same drawing as before. The filthy. Yes, I agree. And they drew all over me with a red crayon. Those stupid bitches. How dare they?
That's just great. I forgot they put all the red crayons in her mouth. <laughs> she, she looks like that meme of the spire where he has like a hundred cigarettes in his mouth. <laughs> Go alone, want a little help, or big help? Well, actually, once I, uh, well, I mean, once I get out of here, I'm gonna save, and I'm actually gonna call it for tonight, because I gotta get ready for bed, to be honest. I gotta be up early in the morning. But, once again, Mr. Wesker, I do appreciate your help very, very much. You are fantastic. I am so glad that you showed up tonight, and you know what? I you know what? E even besides the help, uh, uh, I enjoyed your company. When am I playing again? Uh, I'm. I will be playing this again Friday night. Uh, it should be in the schedule section of a uh, of the Twitch page. I believe if you like click my name, uh, depending on what you're using. But yeah, nah, I, I, oh, thank you, Brown. Yeah, but nah, I, I, yeah, but we'll be going through the end of this, and then, uh, depending on the time, uh, we'll start, uh, Deadly Premonition. That's, uh, that's gonna be the plan. Which means that I should probably download that on my screen. Oh my god. Hey, thank you for the bits, my guy. It, me it means a lot. You didn't have to do that, but that's pretty cool of you. Thank you, my man. Oh, For her, despite the beautiful sunset, this day was the unluckiest of days. Only the girl's silent companion saw her as she suffered in fear. And so this day began. I'm gonna pick up the red crayon. Crayon, but they call it crayon. Saying that a red crayon is the mark of of an aristocrat. It looks like lipstick. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's save at the Mr. Bucket Night. Ew. Okay, well this was a l alright. This was a lot. Alright. I'm going to go back to where the music is. All right. We have made a lot of progress. Let us find somebody to raid really quick. So that way we have somewhere to go. Let's see. Ooh, none massacre. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go visit someone we're familiar with. Oh, Drippy Buns. Nun Massacre is, uh, I believe it's a puppet combo game. Which, puppet combo makes really good, uh, PS1 style, uh, games, actually. So, that's really cool, and that's right up my alley. Since that's, like, one of my favorite genres, if you want to even call it that. But, yeah, nah. And let's start the raid. Bam. Raid has been created. Let's go, everyone. All right. Well, this has been a successful night of Rule of Rose. We only had one technical hiccup, but that's perfectly fine. Everything else went swimmingly just as well as I thought it would. Or hoped it would. So, oh, I do appreciate everyone keeping uh, keep me company just throughout the stream. Very, very good time. And so, on Friday, next time, we'll be finishing this game up, and hopefully Deadly Premonition, I will be prepared for whatever comes my way. Ugh. And then, who knows how long uh, Deadly Premonition will take, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. So. Once again. Once again, I do appreciate... Uh, uh, Mr. Albert Wesker 2022 over here for the help. Adios, am amigo. 
And as per usual, well, good time is had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be going. Good lord, what's happening over there?